All right, recording has begun. It is day two of our playthrough against Winston Waves. Uh, FX, thank you for the resub. 18 months in Finn, thank you for the 200 bits. Uh, welcome back, everyone. Thank you for being here. So we are playing, uh, trying to do a full playthrough, a full playthrough uh, against Winston Waves. Winston Waves is a modded storyteller. I went over him yesterday. If you are seeing this for the first time uh, today on stream or on VOD later on, or even watching on YouTube, and you're coming to this and you missed the first episode and you want more information, uh, it is in the first episode. So if you're coming to this on YouTube, you can just go back in the playlist or in the description or whatever and go back to uh, episode one. On the stream, it's yesterday's VOD. If you want to watch the beginning of the VOD, I'm not going to go over everything with Winston Waves again. I'll talk about it as I play. Uh, but anyway, we are, on, we are on our second attempt at Winston Waves. The first attempt went really well, but it's going to be super super rng some of it and i'll talk about that as we go but um me and a few other people in discord last night were testing out some things with the coding for winston waves uh or they were looking at the code and telling me basically and then testing out some things in game and so we understand a little bit better on how he works and how the raid points are calculated and all that sort of stuff but the real rng is not only uh, due to the raids it's going to be the rewards on our first playthrough we got several rewards that extended the timer and we got several rewards for new colonists uh this second attempt we have not gotten any extensions and we've only gotten like one colonist off of them so anyway here we go uh attempt number two like i said winston waves you can always look that up if you want exclamation mods and chat will show up mods we're using although we're using basically nothing just what we normally do um primarily no pause p music etc so wave 13 is coming and they are veterans, so it's going to be 16 tribals that have their stats increased by 1.5. And um, <laughs> we are not ready for that. Not ready for that. We just had a uh, two waves in a row where the enemy was um, all bionic. All bionic. So really crazy. Uh, but yeah, we... People in the Discord, Smurflish, uh, went through the coding and and found out some stuff, and then we tested it in some uh, in some save maps last night. So basically, what we have learned is Winston Waves. He is basically coded on top of Cassandra. So what happens with him is he can't send normal raids. That's a good thing to know. Outside of Waves, however, he can send all the other uh, events in addition to Waves, and so what happens with him, oddly, is that when it's on Cassandra's uh, trigger time, and I have a guide out there, you can check it out, about storytellers that goes over Cassandra's timings and cycles and whatever. Yes, Cassandra and Phoebe do have cycles, and Randy doesn't, which is a weird thing to say, but it is true. You can check out that guide if you want. Uh, there's a link to all the guides. But anyway... So what happens is if it gets to the trigger point of a Cassandra uh, event and it rolls a raid, it instead skips the raid but still counts it as an event. So what that means is we can still get met clusters, infestations where you have overhead mountain, manhunter events, uh, off map problem causers, all those major events, we can still get those separate from waves but we can't get any raids separate than waves so let's go on trisha welcome in eating pizza fathom sheep susha mel so welcome back thank you for being here uh so anyway we we're on wave 13 this has been a pretty unlucky run in fact we just had a death on this run an actual death uh mule got sniped so we had a tribal raid that was modified to have all sniper rifles and M Mule ran out here to throw a grenade. He he actually landed the grenade. And then someone named Hippopotamus up here off the screen in the trees one shot him. <laughs> Mule's just dead. So we didn't have our first death uh, yesterday on this run. Anyway, we gotta get these traps up. That's our only hope. It is our only hope to surviving this raid in 20 hours. But I do have some really um, some better ideas of what to do on the next playthrough. And yes, Every playthrough will most likely lose because the whole point of this is to play and see how far in the waves we can get before we're overpowered. Um, overpowered by the enemy. Let's go to Hash Monkey. So, for anyone that didn't hear yesterday, 
Winston waves can get up to 25,000 raid points. Every wave increases the raid points and he can go all the way to 25,000. So to put that in perspective, the normal cap on raid points in a game on 500% or whatever is 10,000 raid points. So he can basically hit as if he's two and a half storytellers. And on top of that, he has modifiers where you can actually have double raid points hit you or higher raid point value enemies. So it's really crazy. Considering reward RNG is important, do you think getting a raid early for extra reward chance is worth it? I don't think so. So that's another thing that we were looking at last night. Uh, I think actually it's almost never good to call a wave early because of the RNG of the rewards. Now, if you can guarantee, which you can't, that the reward is going to be extra time, absolutely. Extra time on your reward is probably the best thing you can get. And the reason why is it scales a flat percentage on every single wave for a certain number of waves, and then it goes up even more. So every single, the longer you can delay between waves, the better it's going to be. What's the record on Winston Waves? I have no idea, and I also play a lot different than everyone else. Someone in the chat yesterday said they saw a streamer on 500% with pause um, get stuck in the 40s, and I think that he said that they were able to to eke out like wave 47 or 48, um, playing on 500% with mods and pause. So, uh, and again, I'm not saying that as in like, a, oh, they did it with pause. I'm just putting it out there like a like an idea of what some other people have gotten to in in a similar kind of, this is tribal start, yes. In a similar kind of um, percentage, at least. So that's the only one I have a reference of on 500%. Is a 500% with pause and with mods, uh, someone got into like the late 40s, and that's as high as I know of on a similar difficulty to what we're doing. But uh, I'm not doing it with a as um, with a competition in mind against other people. I'm just competing with myself, pretty much. It's kind of cool to know what other people have done, but I'm not doing it as a oh, I'm doing better than them, or oh, I'm doing worse than them sort of thing. I don't think that's why you're asking, but just putting it out there, you know? 16, we're gonna have to extend this trap tunnel real quick, and we can always rip it down later, but the only way we're gonna survive wave 16 and hope, hope that there, yeah, we're not gonna have enough, man. Uh, hope that there's a timer reward on the end of it is to get this done. But I don't, uh, I don't know that we're going to be able to do it in time. Elster, work on that. Uh, who else do we have on construction? So there's a few things I'm going to do on the next attempt at this that I think is very important. And I'm, I'm going to probably try several other things. Um, but one thing I think is I'm going to make it so all of our starting colonists, I'm going to roll until all of them are construction and planting. Construction and planting. It's more important in this than ever to get things built quickly and to get things repaired quickly between waves and everything because you have so little downtime so little downtime yeah we're not gonna get this up in time so we might be in to run three pretty quickly uh oh man so smurf put it into perspective in the discord as well he he listed a few things that could happen with twenty five thousand raid points with twenty five thousand raid points you can have a center drop of almost 60 Doomsday Rocket Pirates. I don't mean they have a couple of Doomsdays with them. Literally, 60 Doomsday Doomsdays. 60 Doomsdays can fall inside of your base at max raid points with Winston Waves. So, uh, people were asking me to do the zombie thing. So, I'm... Uh, um, I might do it at some point. Why planting? So planting is going to be secondary, but planting is important because the waves can get in a rhythm of mechs, just nonstop mechs, and we don't want to rely too much on human meat and then not get it delivered. Missed the end of the first run. Yeah, the first run was was rough. Uh, 25,000 raid points is also uh, like 65 to 70 centipedes. 65 to 70 centipedes. Like, what? What are you... So, yeah, we are going to... We're going to lose eventually, right? The question is, how long can we survive? Now, here's the interesting part. Neuroquake time. But we have no time to recover from Neuroquake because, you know, there's... There's one day until the next raid. But here is another one of the interesting parts. 
is that because Winston Wave disables normal raids outside of his waves, he doesn't disable other events, but just normal raids, it also seems like, through testing, that he disables ship launch raids. So what that means, if we ever make it to a point where we can actually... Um, we can actually build a ship, which is going to be near impossible. But if we can get to that point and survive 15 waves during it, we won't get extra wa waves. Uh, yeah, right. Yeah, burn rooms do not work on mechs either, no. No. Well, we might actually get this done in time. It's going to be close, but... Get as much of it done as we can. Marriage is on. Come on. <laughs> uh, do we have anyone that's a jogger? We have a jogger. All oh, right, Shambler. Uh, travel run kind of unsettles you. Yeah, it's just we did a random map and it spawned right next to the edge. So, weaponized auto bong no longer works on mechs. No, they patched that pretty quickly. It's been patched for for I don't even know now seven or eight months probably. All right, Shambler. Those sniper rifles are bio code. If anyone's like, why don't you pick up the sniper rifles? Go Wills, Talus, Erd, welcome in. Kieran, Bell, Ray J, Analog, Red Sky, Freltso, Brusok, if I missed anyone, my apologies. Yeah, yeah, it did get posted on Reddit and their Discord and stuff, and it got patched pretty quickly. This is run number two. Animal starvation. I'm um, sorry. Sorry, donkey. She's just going to have to not starve for a minute. Uh, what is the current cheesy way? It depends on how cheesy you want to go. If you're really all out cheesing, then corner punch is the way to go. 16. How many traps do we have? Plus, they have extra stats. We might can actually just take them. Crap. Crap. I'm, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> I'm just going to go for it. I can't even get crap out. I need more fiber. No, no, no. That's not what I mean. We're just going to try... Uh, like I said, I have some ideas for the third run. They saw him come in. <laughs> Shambler! <laughs> oh, the dog, the dog. They saw Shambler come in. Skill boost? Improve every skill of every pawn by two? What? That is pretty incredible. First time I've seen that one. We're going to do pawn join, though. No delay again. No delay again. That's rough. Um, who's the doctor in this run? Here. All right. Come on, the next one is also veterans. 13 pirates with extra stats. Uh, okay. Elster, let's go ahead and put um, you guys on work. Get that door done. And let's get uh, this person. So let's see if uh, the queue is working for me. I got a dinosaur. Quick sleeper brawler. Let's go on Zidian. Come on, Twitch. It worked. Boss is in. Boss player, welcome in. All right. 
Got a brawler. Let's just grab uh, something with you. Knives attack quickly, so we'll grab that. Uh, let's see. Firefighting patient. Bed rest basic. Uh, mining. Okay. All right. We'll have them mine a bit while we can. Uh, we're going to have to probably have Shambler kite that next group. We're not going to have time for, um, for recruitment through prisoners, really. I mean, we did get... No, that was the last run. Never mind. I was going to say we actually got Word of Trust, so that could expedite it. Uh, speaking of... Let's see here. Human Leather Drum. Remember is when you know the runs about to hit a wall. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get a lot of uh, a lot of queue progress during this run. Yeah. Do they stay in the queue between games? Uh, between runs, yes. Between room world runs, yep, they do now. Your brother's visiting. Tell one of those fun stories from when you were growing up. Oh man. Um. Do you have one in mind? I'm not going to tell urinal chicken right now. That's like two or three times a year sort of thing. Humane leather drums. <laughs> Let's go down. I can probably tell maybe like a... Uh, maybe like a fishing story. Everyone hates when I tell that one. It's painful. Any special of mine? All right, I'll tell this one. It's a short one anyway. Okay, the perk choice, uh, Winston Waves reward. Uh, Exclamation WW. He's the boss miner. So, as many of you know, I grew up in a very rural place in southeastern Tennessee. Uh, I shed most of my accent by now, but believe it or not, no, not the sick one. Believe it or not, uh, I did grow up in a super, super country hillbilly setting, right? So, just to, just to frame it, this isn't particularly about uh, that sort of thing, but just, just to frame it. So, when I was little, we'd go camping quite a bit, and we would go set up a tent beside uh, a creek or the river or whatever, and I would run around doing kid stuff, you know, barefoot, no shirt, do whatever, mess around, and uh, my mom would fish, do other things. So, anyway... My mom was fishing on the bank there of the, the creek, and there were trees overhanging the creek, so occasionally when she would cast her line, the hook and lure or whatever you want to say uh, would get stuck in a tree behind her. And she got tired of, like, getting out of the tree or whatever. And so I'm walking around. I'm, I'm minding my own business. I'm not really paying attention. I'm, like, seven years old. And all of a sudden, I feel something hit me in the head like a rock like a rock and right in the back of my head it just hit there and before I could even think this really sharp pain takes hold and my head starts getting jerked forward so what's happened here is my mom had gotten uh the line stuck in the tree over her so many times that she stopped looking and so when it got hung and it didn't go forward she started yanking the rod to get it out of the out of the tree without even really looking so what had happened is the sinker and hook hit me and the hook embedded in my scalp. Again, I'm like seven years old and my mom thinks it's in a tree. So she just yanks the friggin' line and basically scalps me. She's burying the hook into my friggin' skull. So uh, there's all kinds of stories like that, but a lot of people don't like hearing that story because they imagine it. But uh, anyway, I still have a scar on my, on my scalp where uh, next to a creek, in Appalachia, my mom tried to scalp me <laughs> with a with a fishing hook. It sounds way worse putting it that way. But yeah, I got I got like hundreds of stories like that. Oh, that's that's why he's so masochistic. Tennessee bumpkin there. Let's go, Crocus. Black, welcome in. Sacred shards from Winston Waves. I wish. Been a while since you heard it. Yeah, I haven't told that one in a while. Headless room world bin. No, we did not call it a crick. That's more of a... I'm sure some places in Tennessee do it, but uh, I did hear that word. I heard it pronounced that way when I went to, like, Georgia before. 
You know, we called it a creep. Hook where it hurts, right. You remember that story? You had to mute it. <laughs> Stray a hooker more than once? <laughs> no, I like that. I don't like that. So, anyway, just a mild short story. Using a seven year old as fish bait feels bad. <laughs> man, oh man, that hurt. Tell you off for ruining her cast? No, she thought he was stuck in a tree. She felt bad about it. Man is a boy who's survived his childhood. It's true for me. Keep foot. Oh, you, you mean my leg? Yeah, my leg was bleeding and I streamed for two weeks with like hot oil basically trickling down the back of my leg. Yeah, that hurt. That was probably the one of the worst pains. Probably the second worst pain I've had in my life. Near Southern Experience, Creek, the Swan and Creek. We just call everything Creek, where I was from. It's true for all men that you know personally. <laughs> 13 hours, okay. Thirteen pirates, okay. Six colonists, twice you were alive. Nice, congrats, Elks. Uh, that was a funny part yesterday. We actually had the Stalark literally join our colony as a random join. <laughs> the Stalark joined and she was so upset that she didn't have the Stalark royal treatment that she had an extreme breakdown, went running wild, lost her title, uh, became a wild creature with Neuroquake, and then we retained her. This one's called Carry On, the music song. German Burger King ad. I don't speak German. <laughs> you need to let that donkey out. Yeah, it's so it's uh, it was so crazy. I've never had that happen. All right, we're just gonna try to survive this with traps as well, and uh, and see from there. They're probably gonna destroy this. I should have just went ahead and made it inside, but oh well. Any pro tips for dealing with mech auto turrets? Been wrecked by them twice now. Barracks getting direct hit. Oh, you mean the auto mortars? There's a couple ways or things you can do. I try to make sure I get to mortars myself before they have. Uh, auto mortars and if you're like yeah but they have a high shield you can get past the high shield with an emp shell so try to have at least two i try to have four um mortars and so if you have mortars by the time the auto mortar gets set up what you do is you hold fire on all your mortars you aim them all at the auto mortar you put one mortar with an emp shell all the rest of the explosives and then you have everyone set up at the mortars you stop holding fire on the EMP, you wait about half a second, and then you stop holding fire on the others. What will happen is they'll shoot the EMP first, it'll bust the high shield, and then your other mortar shells will hit. And hopefully, they either hit the auto mortar or they hit something nearby that explodes and takes it out. So that's one way to do it. Uh, the second way that I do it often uh, is I will pull the mechs, and then as I'm pulling the mechs, I'll call in allies. So the allies go in, same kind of result. Uh, the the allies will go in and hopefully destroy something that blows it up. Uh, the third way is I'll pull the mechs, try to kill the stray mechs themselves quickly, and then I'll go destroy the mech cluster with a smoke um, launcher. So smoke makes it so turrets no longer track. So what that means, if you haven't seen me do it here on the stream, is if uh, the, the line of sight of the turret shot, if there's smoke in that line of sh sight, the turret cannot lock on and cannot fire. So you can have someone with like trigger happy putting down smoke and then someone else getting closer to take it out with guns or grenades. So those are the three things that I use or a combination of those three things. Oh man, the best way, one of my favorite moments I've ever had in RimWorld is the episode of the Arco Nexus run I have on YouTube um, that is titled, uh, it's not stupid if it works. <laughs> I destroyed an auto mortar with uh, a, a mortar 
installing it next to it. It was really crazy. My favorite moments ever. Tag immediately. Molotov. If we can survive this. They have 1.5% increased stats, but man, if we can get... They are super hyped up. If we can get uh, some of the guns and the Molotovs, we'll be in good shape. Both Molotovs are down, at least. Man, those extra stats they have. Boss is not bleeding. Elster is. Mule's bleeding as well. Uh, who is it? It was Kier? Okay. Okay. Are there any left alive that we can strip? Strip. Okay, they did destroy that. That's what I was worried about. I didn't get a chance to get in. Strip. Strip. Man, still no extension. The next one's going to have double health. Bonuses after you recruit them. Uh, I have not found that out yet. I doubt it, but I, I don't know. Not bio-coded. Excellent. Um, Elster. Elster, grab the shotgun. Okay, can we get... Um, can we get a burn area set up in one day? If we don't, we're dead. Having a druid tree bond 100% with a berry pet? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> that would be so overpowered. Grab that one. Saucy. Grab that. All right. So I need some kind of burn area set up, uh, even a small one, within one day. So I gotta close that off and make one of these somewhere. So pop that. Uh, even if it's just friggin' wood right here for now. No wood. We don't have enough wood. What do we have? Do you have enough sandstone? Okay. We got the Molotov. Okay. Um, so we're going to pop that open. And let's see. Just a small area here. in time. We don't have time for bed rest. Turn off. to roof them if possible yeah that can be very 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 dangerous especially if they obviously are already woken up can't really do it or if they have a uh, an activator proximity activator welcome back your 
steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Come on, come on. Hit not close, I really don't care. Heat stroke, you're just gonna have to suck it up. 100 degrees, suck it up. Oh, it's Breacher anyway. I just noticed that too. So I think we're probably screwed for the next one, but if we can get this up, if we survive that and then have this up for the one after that, then we'll be all right. But for the Breacher one, we're gonna have to, it is tribal Breachers. We're gonna have to actually probably use some uh, frag grenades and, and hope for the best. Let's go to Rika. Hard attack, suck it up. The modifier is double health, yep. Double health. That's why I was trying to get that set up, but then, yeah, it's Breachers, so. Well, we'll get this set up for the raid after this one, if we survive this one, which... We probably won't, but. Yeah, we didn't get any pets. We didn't get any delays. We didn't get any. We got like one, one or two pawn joins total. So yeah, the RNG on the rewards really screwed us this time, but it's all right. Nothing we can do about that. Uh, Riket, thank you for the eight months, Riket. And uh, Zoo, thank you for the Twitch Prime here. Thank you, Zoo. And Garros, thank you for the eight months. Thank you, Garros. Minoc. Thank you for the gift sub to Mr. Esso. Thank you, Minoc. Appreciate it. Botching sure sucks. I know. That's why I said I'm going to... Another reason why I think I'm going to have everyone be able to uh, have decent construction on the next on the next run. Uh, Legume. They were the thousand bits. That's a lot of bits. Thank you, Legume. Very much appreciate it. goes so my mod wife is here yeah last time we got like uh three tamed thrombos 10 tamed wargs uh we had an event where like four or five colonists joined all at once like it was going pretty well and i just didn't get an emp before we got centipedes so I suppose that's the way it goes sometimes this one Uh, this one was like, yeah, you want some steel? Wasn't this the run of the, of the, yeah, this is the textile run. Like every reward was like, here, have a thousand random leather. Stop your griping. It's like, all right. Th th thanks. <laughs> I appreciate it, I guess. Oh my god, 21 with Breachers. Mule 2 is up. And they have double health. Let us not forget, double health. So I'm firing can't the Breachers. <laughs> I mean, I have the Molotov, I suppose. I could try that, but. Nice throw, mule. Maybe not. It's real. Real 
down. Skill boost, everyone plus three. Pretty good. Still no extension. Still no extension. Okay, new pawn. 75. Frail. All right, we're going to try to get them kidnapped to... What's the next one? 18 pirates with 50% more armor. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, well. Hopefully we can get them to... Or if we can get the burn up in time, maybe, but we gotta get this fixed. Don't have time to even look through these guys. Uh, anyone really, really beat up? Boss got pretty beat up, but they're getting... Uh, we're getting fixed here. Dog is getting healed up. Get that outer wall done. Okay. So yeah, we really gotta get this done. Okay. Uh, we're almost out of sandstone, so we're probably gonna have to use some slate on this. Twenty hours. A oh, one is shooting. No, they're actually. I don't know. I don't know why they have a ten burning passion, and uh, we're missing like almost all the shots at close range. So, just uh, just bad luck. Better than a pawn. Imagine everyone have plus three construction, plus three shooting. I thought about it, yeah, but I, I just kind of wanted more bodies for. Uh, we well, never know if you're getting a good pawn or not. I guess, but uh, I wanted more bodies. Going to fail. Welcome in. Meal no. Everstore, welcome back. <laughs> the, the LG did some work though. Uh, all right, we're we're gonna add force this. So our other construction people, I'm gonna put them all in the front. We got McElster, we got Antiers are in the front already. Okay. Got uh, Kier and Saucy. Okay. Okay, we're gonna hold that open. Fifteen hours. Come on. Oh, I was gonna do that in there. Crap. I accidentally did the triple. Stop it. I was rushing. Well, that sucks. But it won't work correctly if I have a triple wall. Manhunter! Oh my god. We might call the wave early, even though we probably shouldn't, depending on what this manhunter is. Man, that really screws us up with the whole getting the burn thing ready. There's a trade caravan as well. 20 happened once you was shooting. That's actually crazy out of the plus ones. Do you say a good afternoon or a morning when it's noon? It depends. But usually I would say afternoon. And if it was exactly noon I said it, then I don't know. 11 wargs. I think I might just call the pirates in and hope we get a good reward. If we die, we're on to run three anyway, so. Let's do it. We have wargs here. We have traders here. Let's see what happens.
12 noon and all's well. Merry midday. <laughs> I hope it's a weapon delivery. Weapon and armor. Chili is absolutely sc screwed. There's another. Uh, it's uh. It's bio coded. Poor. Guy's got flak. Oh, well, it's a vicious chance. It's, it's fine. Delay next wave, finally. Good armor. I'm taking the delay. It's the first delay this one's had. Oh, look, it's an eight day delay. That is so good. Finally. Or seven day delay, yeah. This run has been going so much worse than the previous one. For us to make it to wave 17 is super surprising. Um, so we knocked that out. The wargs are still here. They, uh, they absolutely dominated. Run is saved. Ah, uh, Freltzo. Thank you for the 250 bits. Bribe. <laughs> Taxes. They've been going. We just got started pretty much, but, uh, I thought we were going to lose, but here we are. So. We're going to hopefully pull the wargs over into these traders. Chandler, I need you to have the bolt action. He's our only uh, chance at kiting things. That was such a clutch reward, yeah. Okay, where are the geothermals? There's 10 geothermals in this map? Jesus. Uh, that's the closest one. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's... Understood McElster. So I think finish these really quick. There we go. that way. Mm. Um, not sure how I want to, I want to set this up, but I figure we might as well put it over here. They want scritches. So. Yeah, inside their bellies. They, they can do that as traders, not us. Freaking cat probably ran by. Um, that was my computer. Who knows what just got unplugged and re-plugged in. Okay. 
banging out the research. So this little burn box, I still think I want to set it up, this up here, slow enemies down instead. I think we can do that in time. And then I do a different burn here. All right. Look around your PC too. I try to always, yeah, if Cat runs out and does that, I try to always let people know. Have been faster about it. Oh well, we might get some of it anyway. <laughs> You're moving cables around that exact moment. Wow, bad timing for me. Back, Calarina. Drow once. Kai, welcome in. Thank you again, Kai, by the way. Willem. So we're going to try to get this done. first no worry about the the new area it's pretty thing meteor storm you're in the next one 12 scythers okay we need to get an uh, EMP before then the bird tunnel is absolutely not gonna do anything against uh, 12 scythers obviously so we still want to get this done, but it's not going to do much. It's not going to do anything on the next raid. So we need to get a uh, mule on the road. Looking for an EMP. Let's go do that now. Uh, let's see. When's the last time we traded? 13 days until they're back with new stuff. 14 days. So we've been to all three of those. And none of them had an EMP. The next closest purple settlement is way, way over here. Uh, so we got, uh, we could also just try to ally blue. We have enough, I think, with all the human leather. Well, let's try that first. Yeah, that, that should be enough to do it. So don't get friggin' ambushed again like last time I tried this. I actually need to leave a little bit of human leather. Alright. Go. Besides being underpacks, not count as what's in waves. So I, I talked about in the beginning of the stream how it works. So basically, all normal uh, events can happen other than raid events. So way, uh, raids only happen as waves, but everything else can still happen. Okay, so yeah, I still want to get this set up. My daughter just came in and started being a bird or something. I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> no, she's just standing there like a bird. Uh, yeah, if we can actually make it to the orbital uh, trade beacon, that'd be nice. Let's see. All right, those we need to hold open.
Smallest burn tunnel ever. <laughs> I don't think anyone's only on cleaning now. One's on, uh, the new one that we're gonna sacrifice is on mining and cleaning. Sky River, welcome in. Can't believe this one might end up lasting longer than the last run. It you just unplug something. No. I don't know. And now it's back in. That's that's me again. My wife touched a cable behind the desk. <laughs> but you touched it. People running, touching their stuff. What's up, plugs? That just happened earlier too. People panicking. Riots in the streets. <laughs> Please don't touch anything back there. All right. How far in this run are you? Uh, day 25 and raid 32. <laughs> Stream? I don't think so. Going around. As long as it's not on camera. Dog, welcome in. Okay. I need to reach the spot. It's right there. Oh, God. We can do it this way again. Grab a handful of cables. Something interesting happen. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, I see what else is stopping it. Yep. Actually, I think that's the problem. Um, yeah, they, it can't pass the fence, so... That wasn't actually it. Um, all right. I put a door back there. They can't pass the fence, even when caravanning. It's kind of annoying. That's the only exit from the base right now because I'm uh, rushing to get that done. Oh, we finally have a breather on this run, though. Man, oh, man. I was talking about how we haven't had any day extensions in the entire run. We haven't. Um, but then we got that seven-day. Feels real nice. Mule's going to go ally blue and hopefully get an EMP. If we can get the EMP um, grenade in time, I think this is doable. Without it, I'm, I don't know. It's going to be really, really rough. Let's go into your stuff. It's weird not to be planning the raid that's happening in the next point two days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's it's such a relief. Smallest burn tunnel of all time. All right, good luck, Mule. Good luck. RFG betray on 4 XP. Lost your perfect run. I know that feel. 4X deadly. Still finishing watching the Igor run. Uh, there's Winston's deal, yeah. Expedition WW. 
Meteor storm during the entirety of the wave, too. A meal and a donkey walk into a colony. <laughs> the deserter. All right. Oh, I meant to take more of that, but. Let's see where that puts us. Now neutral, okay. They don't have EMP. <laughs> We gotta see if we can get over to. Well, they do they have a Zeus hammer? No. If we get one of the armors and put it on the tough pawn in the front, we might be okay. Can we get enough for that? We can. Are we winning? No, never on this mode. Base building tips to an open base. Um. I mean, if you're doing, like, basically a, a barracks and, like, mega structure type thing, just make sure that you make the interior um, 11 by X so you don't need uh, supports inside it. But other than that, you can just make it modular like I usually do and add on new 13 by 13 wall rooms as needed. If you want them to be a little bit more defensive, you can either leave a 3 or a 5 tile uh, gap in between them for a, for a kill hallway. We're not not winning. <laughs> so I can take the Locust Armor. Or the Prestige. Um, hmm. I mean, that could actually be useful later on, too. Because um, it'll give them basically a jump pack. So... Death Super Citifier, that's something to do with uh, this modded storyteller. It basically destroys everything, including all their, their bionic parts and stuff. An enemy as dangerous as the pirates. Um, they can do Outlander type raids like pirates do, but they usually are geared better. So. Alright, I'm just going to take it. 49. 49 inch, 51, 20, 14, 40, 120 hertz monitor for 399. What the. Is it mislabeled, uh, I guess? On a Pricing error on Amazon, but it says confirmed. So no EMP for the Scythers. We're going to get Mule back with that equipment, and then uh, we'll send them on the road. The only other... Well, there's a blue spot there. They can get there and back. Good luck, stuff. Let me know if it goes through. <laughs> All right, so we have uh, a Brawler Pawn who's not tough. So I guess we'll be putting him in the in the armor, though. Let's go on, Batman. Welcome in. Uh, I still have to send out keys, by the way, Batman. Sorry for the delay on that. It's been a crazy week. Okay, so, boss. There we go. <laughs> that sounds <it's> better. <laughs> you want to be the only big tough brawler in the colonies? Of course. Oh, that squirrel's going to have a bad time. This is uh, run number two. Let's go to Howitzer. Run number two. Okay, work. We want to uh, turn off construction on all four of those. Structure. We're going to do... We don't have any wood. Okay, 
the wood. Wood fence. Furniture. Um, what do we have? Slate. Slate shelf. Okay. The first run in centipedes. Centipedes before we had EMPs, an all centipede raid. Can warm the swirl up. Yeah, he's gonna be warm for the rest of his life. Man, a bad meteor hit during this next raid, though. We're screwed. Okay, those are in. Cancel those. Restrict them. Destruction back on one. Smallest burden tunnel ever. Keep a heal box clear of trees without just cutting everything. You can either roof the entire thing so it can't grow, or uh, you can put a pin marker in there if it's enclosed otherwise. And you can turn on auto cut and you can have them cut everything. So those are the two best options. Either just roof the whole thing or make it a pin. Uh, you can even turn animals off for the pin so that they, they don't. You can add floors, but it's going to speed up the enemy running to you, so I don't usually suggest that one. But, I mean, yeah, you can do that to stop it from growing as well if you want. Rebuild the traps? Maybe. Eventually. We're just now cutting more wood, so... Okay, there we go. Burn box, second wall from the top, left side between the fences. Thank you. And it's such a small burn area. Uh, river. Thank you for hanging out during your break. Have a good rest of your day. Alright, let's put a uh, door down here. One up here. Round to close the doors. I don't need to close them. Yeah, I haven't closed burn doors in like six months. It gets hot enough and you don't have to. How the scythe is going in? Uh, we don't know. It could be a drop or it could be... It's 12 scythers, so I imagine it's not a drop. I imagine it's a, it's a frontal attack. Slate covered on the inside. This is a nice burned look. <laughs> Yeah, I get so hot. You can get it so hot that you don't need to close the back. Let's go, Jim. Okay, that is done. I think we're probably gonna melee block them. I think I'm gonna melee block them here so the traps can at least absorb some of them. So we will rebuild these. Dangerous. I don't know why the story thing is going again on the bot, but it's true. Playing through uh, <laughs> story games on Wednesdays again. The first episode of the Dragon's Dogma blind playthrough is actually already up on YouTube. If anyone's curious for that, here's the link to the YouTubes. Researching mushrooms stuff papers. We do like nine or three lewd comments. <laughs> Oh, it's completely accidental. Oh my god. A wonder joins. Depressive. 
Impressive, but iron willed. I normally wouldn't take these. Yeah, I'm okay with them uh, being a kidnapped target. All right, we need to get back out and see if uh, we can find an EMP. Yeah, screw it, just take it all. Trust take all the things. Do we have anyone's bloodlust? I might just wear those anyway. We don't. Oh well. Uh, okay. Where are those, uh. Those helmets. God, there's just stuff everywhere. Did we end up getting to machining? Yeah, we did. We did. There's just stuff all over the place. There's a poor one. There we go. It's tainted. Oh, well. Who's the other blocker? Um. Tough. We got tin shooting, though. Sugar happy, we need to keep that one. There's another tough. Tough mask is saucy, all right. No, I think I'm gonna put it on uh on here. They're gonna get upset by it. Whatever. I could have them not put it on until right before the raid, I suppose. Kind of like a no trade fun. Pretty much. RL traits are tough and masochist. My mouse just screwed up. <sighs> okay. Um. It's actually larger than we need, but we'll uh we'll change that later. Fix that. Triple digits. Thank you, folks. That's a lot of time. Already. Four days on the side. There's mule is on their way, looking for an EMP. If we don't get one. We're just gonna have to melee block. We're gonna melee block either way, but. Right, a human skin? Right, I just took it all away. We have 77. So we can need two of these. It's going Ringar, Eureka, welcome in. Yeah, I it's crazy. This will be like the fifth or sixth town, so hopefully they have an EMP grenade. I think I'm gonna do five meals now too. They have one. <laughs> uh, well, we're gonna bring some of that back home. And a chain shotgun. All right, mule, come on back home. Might survive this. All goes Winston. It's actually going better than I thought it was going to today. I thought we'd be on run three already. Spider on my shirt. Sorry, they uh, they kill mosquitoes. They're friends of mine. Uh, let's see, cook. 
fine wheel due to have X. X is we'll go with 20. Actually, let's go a little bit higher than that. 25, pause at like uh, 12. Use all the things. It'll cook fine, carve fine meal. Do until we have. I just cook all of them. Could do pemmican too, but I don't really need to. Just do forever. Cook vegetarian fine meal. help on mood a little bit wearing this uh tattered clothing or not tattered well maybe it's tattered as well but let's go to smg welcome in hamsters keelan what would vegan pemmican be what would you substitute the fat for i don't know 81 percent granola bar <laughs> coconut oil I don't know Vlad Slim welcome in just dried berries oh we're gonna get EMP Ninety-one percent. Let's wait till they uh, finish cleaning that room. For you, a vegan yeah. pemmican in general would be terrible. But vegan pemmican probably doubly so. I don't know. Vegan pemmican would probably actually be better taste-wise than uh, the nut. If it's just mushed and then dried berries, it's like uh, it's like fruit leather in that case. All right. Um, let's do it. Tofurkey and coconut oil. <laughs> fun, not fun enough. Come back. <laughs> if the who we killed were, all, were vegan. Oh my god, still no join. All right, who's going to be chucking this grenade? Here. You grab this one. Plants can sense to being eaten. <laughs> I don't really care if anyone's vegan or not. As long as they're not like trying to force it on me. Wife had or has a vegan friend and they visited and they were um they're very nice about it all. They didn't they didn't mind. It was their choice for them, but they weren't trying to like tell us we should be or anything. It's alright, put the human meat through the paste machine more than once, and uh, no one can even tell. As far as they're concerned, it's vegan. Alright, 
Uh, one thing I need to do as well, set up this uh, burn apparel. Do forever. Uh, allow tainted. Burn weapons. Do forever. We're gonna go with all the bows. Islas. Uh, what else do we want to do? Uh, clubs. Yeah, that's fine. I think that's okay for right now. Make the old dad joke. An old mid American word means hunt. Uh, no. How am I gonna cheese this? I'm not doing any cheese yet. Yeah. So try not to do any uh any kind of cheesing. I mean any like exploity thing like corner punch and whatnot. Finally getting some things cleaned up. Go ahead and uh, add a stockpile in here. We'll set that one to uh, low. Could be burns. No, it won't. Uh, I'm pretty sure they, they can't burn that, right? They would have, not at a campfire double check but it's uh it's um uh tainted either way so if it can be but i i think it they can't burn smelted in the campfire right because it doesn't even have a turn off for smelted smeltable whereas like the um the uh incinerator crematory or whatever has a toggle for um for smeltable if i remember right could be misremembered. Do we have an auto bong? Yeah, I don't. I don't think the auto bong would be would be cheesy, but we can't unless we recruit someone that's um from a faction that has the auto bong. We don't know why there's focus on making vegan products taste like meat. I mean, I I think it's pretty obvious right just because they're vegan doesn't necessarily mean they're doing it i mean they still want things to taste good and if they still like the taste of meat i mean they condone eating it still or whatever right but yeah yeah like i said there are plenty plenty of like nice and uh lifestyle choice for themselves sort of vegan people out there that aren't like these vegan zealots you know Want to taste meat and be vegan? You're a hypocrite. I don't. I don't think so. If you're not doing it because of the taste, then I don't think that makes any sense. So it's like, all right, I do like the taste of beef, so I want something that tastes closely to beef without having to slaughter animals for it. And you're doing it for yourself, then I think that's completely fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure why it would even be an argument. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter to me at all, so. Do whatever you want to do. Build a garage for the car backyard. So. Okay. You want to taste flesh still. So. I don't think it's hypocritical at all. As long as it's 30 days. 30 days. <laughs> that makes sense.
Fungus is life. Neither plant nor animal. This guy tins here. Oh, I think it's pretty ridiculous, yeah. <laughs> Don't like burnt rubber, it's an ice cream turns out that way. <laughs> Just a bad cook. It's back to aiming. We're gonna do some more of these in just a second. I'm letting them uh, get this cleared out a bit. Made eggs, completely altered soy, tastes like meat. I don't think it's stupid at all, yeah. I, it's not anything to do with health either. Some people do it for health, but that's not the only reason. So. Yeah, I don't understand. It's something that tastes like all the options out there. Is it weird? Yeah, I don't think it's weird at all or stupid at all or hypocritical. I think that line of thought is kind of crazy. Honestly. Uh, apparently we need another bed. Oh, do we end up having another relationship? I think we had one. Uh, those ones are already together. Here we go. Mule. Oh, no. Mule and Shambler. Need something? No. Vegan diet is unnatural. I mean, I don't even know why we're getting into this kind of argument. So many things that all humans do is unnatural. Wearing rubber soled shoes is unnatural. Our, if someone likes the feel of sand and grass on their toes, but they wear shoes, are they a hypocrite? Like this makes no sense. I have no idea why it's even becoming an argument. <laughs> All right, let's let's cut some more uh, some more trees. I heard cutting down trees and making a house is not natural. Or are we hypocrites? Because we or am I a hypocrite saying it's not natural? But I'm not living in a cave. Like I don't understand. What? <laughs> Glasses, bifocals is unnatural. Like, I, I don't think it being unnatural is any part of the argument at all. <laughs> YouTube comments are gonna be really interesting. Technically, humans are nature. Everything we do is natural. Oh my god. So now you're reversing the argument as well. Making things that aren't meat taste like meat is unnatural, but everything humans do is natural because we're nature. <laughs> that's some, that's some, uh, some odd backpedaling. <laughs> All right, we need to build a double bin. Pointing out hypocrisy is, hypocrisy is silly. Just never mind. Let's go ahead and samps. Emerald Dragon to summon Granny. All right, Emerald Dragon, let's see what Granny has to say on this topic. I can't believe Mule is in a relationship. I didn't realize it was Mule at all that got in on a relationship. That really sucks. Uh, it was Mule and Shambler of all people too. And Shambler is really important. So that'll free up a bed for one of the sacrifices. All right, well, let's see. Heavy topic today, it really shouldn't be. I don't know what's going on. I'd hate to like just have to stop the conversation because people are going getting silly with it. Uh, Aerial Dragon. You know what? Let's do a second one. I'll do that one too, but. Ah, squared, you're a hashtag. <laughs> All right, again. I love slots. Granny was a gambler. That's a short one, a very short one. 
You would swear that mineral scanner is like a uh, 2% chance to find inside the walls. God, it feels like that. Yeah, when you want, when you want it. All right, anyway. One point three days until the mechs are here. I smell coffee. Ugh. Finally getting things cleaned up. Sagasu is ending. Too bad it didn't happen closer to the attack, but whatever. He is what it is. When I extend the oven, I will eventually, but I wanted to get some things uh, cleaned up and I wanted to get this started so we can actually get some more chances at bodies. What day are we on? We're only on day 31. We finally got an extension, so. Man, we are not getting lucky with that. Go again. Oh, man, that stinks. Mod wife, why? Oh, come on. <laughs> Mule's got a nice snazzy top hat, though. Look at that. Squirt. Cannibal jogger trigger happy. Right this way, sir. Let's see if the API is working. Come on, bot. Hey, it's Turtle Twig. All right, Turtle Twig. Um, don't have any options for you right now. That's still bio-coded, which will smelt when we have a chance. Um, oh, we actually have a chain shotgun in there. Okay, Turtle Twig, that is for you. Wow, look at that. Look at that, Turtle Twig. Way to go. You chose the right parents. Look at you. Oh god, I didn't realize the sacrifice one uh, is in a different ideology. It's not good. Turtle twig, turtle twig. I'm gonna make him into a shooting specialist, so. Okay, turtle twig. And then we'll set the other crap up. Social. Uh, we only need four people there. Okay, go for it. Okay, the sacrifices. What are we going to have them do while we wait? Growing. Nice. Oh, uh, we can have them cut blocks. So noodles, welcome in. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> a trigger happy squirt. Coffee sky god. Ugh. This way, sir. Oh god, why it stinks. Why well, give them good gear? Um, because they're gonna be body blocking scythers and it's tainted gear. It's tainted, so I don't care about their mood really, and they're gonna be the ones in the front getting pounded on by scythers in 16 hours. Drink, don't lose. Ryan, the VOD, thank you, please. Uh, yeah, these, these are uh, wearing tainted gear, so. Special storyteller, special circumstance. That is, that is right. Eleven hours. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought about it. I might do it. I haven't decided. Sacrificing affects the waves or not? It doesn't seem to, you know. Based on the testing in Discord last night, it does not seem to at all. 
Okay, uh, we can do one more. Psychic Suppressor. No. Specialists are unlimited. Yeah. Uh, your leader and your moral guide, you only have one of those uh, each, but specialists you can have as many as you to meet their minimum requirements for. Like, shooting specialists, I think, is six shooting skill. Hey, look, it's Yayo. Yayo. Which, I'm not even going to go over that again. <laughs> the song pronounced it Yayo, but uh, that's how I pronounce it. Anyway, right before the mechs are getting here, as, as always. All right, uh, so in those days, we got this done. I want to start working on eventually having that set up. So what kind of blocks did we end up cutting? 666 sandstone, nice. It's the yayo song. Okay, let's go on B, welcome in. means egg in one language. Here they are. That was weird. Oh, right. Meteors hit the entire time. Forgot about that little part. 12 scythers. We're going to have uh, meteors hitting all over the map the entire time they're here. Yeah, one meteor hits. Ooh. Where did that? That scared me. I saw the animation go across the base. But one of those hits where we're melee blocking, the runs us over. Doing all right. We do have the EMP yet. Yep. We're gonna let some of the traps take them and the rest of them we're gonna melee block at the entrance here. And hope for the best. Oh, they're gonna destroy the shelf, I just realized. A couple of meteors in the in the uh, base area, but the wall's not looking good. Let me know. <laughs> Arcotech artifact drop, yes. What do we get? Two psychic pulsers and two sue pulsers. Very nice. Okay. Next one, another mech. 
four centipedes, one lancer, two scythers, one pyron. Oh man. And we're having meteor storm again during that one. Okay. God, I was hoping for friggin' humanoids. That sucks. Um, yeah, that's not gonna be ready in time. Um, I think we might make an area here. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah, instead of burn tunnels, maybe they're gonna be mixed. That's the way it goes. Four centipedes. We do have the EMP. We're not gonna be able to melee block, or we shouldn't melee block because if any of those are flame cans, they hit. We're just dead. Uh, I can make a little fallback shooting area here. I think right here will be all right. How many people do we have? Um, Uh, Welcome back. One, two, three, steadfast loyalty four, five, is appreciated. six. We have six that are shooting, then we have some melee hitters there. Okay. Met Clusters, mech raids, point where you almost want to turn them off. It's going to Rabbit. They were the five months. Thank you. I'm glad you, uh, glad you're still enjoying it. So we're going to come through here. We can EMP. We can make a little cubby there to EMP. I want it pretty close. It's scary because of the scythers, but. Man, I wish we had time to finish that up there, but we just don't. just don't not for this one so where's the refugee quests <laughs> let's get some of those so. that seven day extension was yeah i think we'd be dead without it imagine if we had faced this seven days ago we wouldn't have an emp grenade like we'd be super screwed Brains, welcome in. That's gonna have to do. That's not really gonna do much. I don't think the mechs are ever gonna be over here, but we'll put it there anyway. Guess I'll just panic. Uh, all right, we can start working on this anyway. Um, might as well. So yeah, I'm gonna build this a little bit different so we can utilize this. That means enemies are gonna run to this corner, but. We can make it better later. For now, we just need, need something up. We put traps right there. I mainly chain shotguns though, actually. Watch, well, but there, uh, it's a biphasic schedule, yeah. Here's the one I'm using for this run. You can do exclamation BI if you want a little bit more information, but here's the schedule and people are pretty happy about it. It's going, you shouldn't, and uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions about it, but the clip at exclamation BI should explain a little bit of why I use, or came up with the biphasic thing to use. There's a bio-coded, okay. I just build, it's gonna be a kill box, a very weirdly shaped kill box. 
It's not gonna be up in time for this mech raid, but hopefully it's up in time for the next one. I'm utilizing the water for for this one. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Right now, our goal is to get to wave 20 <laughs> because um, that, that would be a new record so far on this. Can't believe we survived the beginning of the stream. I thought I ended on a cliffhanger yesterday where I thought we were going to lose as soon as I got on today, but it's going Bloom. Thank you for the resub. Three months. Thank you, Bloom. Five hours. Man out packets. Oh, are they gonna screw they're gonna screw the fences up? How many of them are there? There goes the slowing. I mean maybe they'll still be upset with the Mexican here and do a little bit of damage to them, but it's gonna be very little. Very little. Confidence. Maybe it's underconfidence. In. <laughs> oh, these freaking alpaca. What a terrible time. Mass animals. So early now, I could, yeah. But it's going to take the centipedes quite a while to get here anyway. Oh, those are only one material each, at least, so. Doors open because of the the wave that's coming. If I close the intro door because if I do, the centipedes are gonna attack random walls. Uh, do I think exclam exc exclamation pathing? I think is the link to the guy that talks about that. So we'll just kill these really quick. fences melt be making them from something else uh yeah make them from stone that's what i always make them from stone fences stone plasteel uranium i just do, i just use stone yeah Two flame centipedes. Is it wrong? Yeah, yeah, so that's, that's what I use almost, almost always. Oh, I didn't see the Lancer get him. Sluggy's not dead.
got one of his shots off. Kaido was Shambler. Too late now. Dead. Come on, delay. Healer serum? Five mech healer serums, uranium or research. Three random researches. It's not paused during that either. So. Be quick about it. We're alive, but we didn't get the extension. And the next one is going to be... Uh, it's going to be tribals. Doesn't look like a breach. Could be sappers. Okay, did it actually have red serum or was it only heal serums? Just heal, okay. So, boss is dead. Sacrifice is dead, it's all right. We needed another delay, but we gotta get that done and we might survive this next one. Hopefully the one after that is a delay. 21 hours, okay. Elster. Let's go on turtle quick. Welcome in. Yeah, there's going to be a flash storm the entire next raid. Is it possible to send colonists without a bed? Yeah, they added draft tending with 1.3. So if you draft someone, you right click on someone like I'm doing here, they'll tend them on the spot. Mule's going to get so many infections. There we go. First infection on mule. All right. Hopefully they uh, come through the burn tunnel. Can a meteor fall kill colonists? Yes. As long as the dog is okay. Yeah, the dog wasn't even uh, involved in that one. We do have Sooth Pulsar, which I might go ahead and use one of those. Uh, we also have the Animal Pulsar. We can use that against the Tribals as well if we really need to. So if it ends up, uh, man, look at that. Some granite fell and deleted some of our farm farmland. That sucks. We have extra medicine anyway.
freaking meteors. Okay, those two doors are on there. Attack waves are difficult to handle. Yeah, every day, every day. The only reason we had a extension was we uh, we got one as a reward. So we use the healing ceremony one with permanent issues. Sorry, right, right now. Brady missed didn't go well. No, I did not. No, not quite. Uh, let's go ahead and hit one of the Soothe Bolsters. Elster, you need to eat. Okay. Uh, Antiers, you can come. Let's go. Switch to the storyteller on your 20 year run and see how long your mega base can hold out against that. Yeah, I don't even know if I saw that save file. Man, that was back from like, it was like 1.1 or something. Back before breaches, back when uh, drop pods weren't as common. ideology stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I still have it at all. Either way. Give us this taste of the flash storm to come. Oh, Lord. I don't think I've seen this one yet. So I don't know how how much fire the, there will be. Royal Ascent. Yeah, we're just now getting that introductory royal quest. Okay. Those are tribal. I might want to shoot them. What kind of weapons they got? Yep. It's time to anger the tribes. Oh no. The tribes hate us now. <laughs> Whatever will we do? We want tribal attacks. Why shoot them? I want to anger all the tribes so that we have a higher percentage chance of having tribal attacks than pirate attacks. <laughs> Run. You don't beat your record. I know. We just need to survive this one and we'll beat the wave record. The other one is already at 40 days right now. Sacrifice the lane right there. That's right. Three hours. All right, let's hope this isn't a sapper raid. If sappers are probably dead. <laughs> Tribal cheese? I, I don't think it's uh, cheese. Not that one. <laughs> We've definitely done some cheese, but I don't think that one is. Let's go to our squid. Raids need not to be infinite. Make my life more difficult. It really would, yeah. This is already super freaking difficult, though. 40 day, 19 wave. See who's going to win this time, yeah.
Ah, I'm just killing for fun, not for strategic reasons. Yeah, yeah I can get enemy rep when rolling his raids. Well, he can't attack you with someone that's friendly with you, because the pawns that come on the map would just not be able to attack you, so I imagine he can't. <laughs> Limburger cheese. Here we go. Attacking immediately. All right. We to see if uh, if this is set up good enough. It's such a small burn box. Is it gonna get to temperature in time? It's almost there already, so I think we might be good. We don't have our sacrifices up yet. 420 degrees, let's go. I think it was still raining, yeah. Flash storm during rainy thunderstorm. We got kind of lucky. Is it hot enough to burn them in time? 700 degrees. 800, come on guys, burn. <laughs> We're gonna have to put something out there to uh, cause collision. Oh, some of them are popping. A thousand degrees? Hang on a second. Does the storyteller do something specific to temperature? There's no friggin' way that those aren't already dead. There we go. Oh, okay, just in time. Excellent weapon drop. It gets so hot that the double doors don't matter. Excellent weapon, caravan arrival, or drug. Let's see what the excellent weapon drop is. All right, so that is enough time to kill tribals. But we need to put a uh, collision out there. Next one is a boss raid. Big bosses, all enemies are mercenaries. Wave raid points, oh man. Wait a minute. Tribals with grenades and snipers and smoke. <laughs> this might actually end up being a breacher. Okay, where did the weapons drop? I need to move this. Uh, Did they already grab them? They probably already grabbed them. I miss them? Mercenary tribals. Oh, we need to use the healer serums too. Uh, before I forget, let's do that really quick. Who has anything permanent? No one. Runners have double health. Uh, not all of them, just some of them. Uh, where did the EMP grenade go? I need to set a place for that too. Actually, we don't need that for the next one. Frail. Yeah, but those are a sacrifice. I don't care. I don't want to waste it on them. It can be, but I don't care. Uh. Oh, there they are. An excellent chain shotgun, a bow, and two staffs. So we basically just got a better shotgun out of it. Yeah, that, that's really unfortunate. We could have gotten like charge weapons or something, but channel point wet if we make it past 25. <laughs> uh, Oscar, are you still here? <laughs> Quality weapons, you guess? Yeah, yeah, that's what it means. Yeah. We need to reset this. What's the temperature? Two. Okay, there we go. 
Do you have enough wood? Okay, work. We need to cut construction off. We need to go to structure, wooden fence. It's a bow that curves and then it curves again. We're fine. Uh, each and hours, we should be able to get that set up in time. But if it's a breacher, we're kind of screwed. We're shooting around corners, yeah. <laughs> Only, uh... That's the re-recurve bow. We got wood. Nah, we really need to get on it. Ten hours, Jesus. Yeah, you can get dirt under fences. Yeah, that kind of sucks, actually. I might replace them with uh, with barricades in the future. Shambler, depending on what kind of raid this is, you might be kiting for a while. Oh, we have a sacrifice that's up. The warrior from the Gore Coalition. It's got a curved bow. Curved bow. Staff's not worth it. Not this one, yeah. We don't have any sidecasters on this one because the tree was right near the the edge of the map. Oh yeah, uh, I need. To, I forgot to update the memes. Here's what we're working with right now. I'm gonna get rid of proselytizer too. This is just what I started with, and uh, we don't have enough time to proselytize anything. Oh, it actually didn't delete it. That's interesting. Normal meteors generally delete the ground underneath. So, like, if you have a, uh, a meteor land on, um, you know, soil and you mine it, usually there's just rock, rough rock underneath. Hey, we did it! Wave 20! I didn't, wasn't even thinking about it. <laughs> Breach. Oh, God. <laughs> Breach pirates with a friggin' two doomsdays. Yeah, it's the original ones I started blindly with, yeah. Before you save and reload the game, it will not change the ground. That's interesting, yeah. I don't think I have time before they break walls to animal pulse. And animals are asleep, yeah. You can't pulse them while they're asleep. Oh, Shambler actually got tapped there. Use the Doomsday on Sacrifice, please! They're gonna decide to kidnap Sacrifice and leave? Go for it, take him. They still have a low shield too. 
Here comes the Doomsdays. They're in the back. Oh, they killed our dog finally. I got mule also. <laughs> buy mule, buy sacrifice. Sacrifice fulfilled their purpose. Mule, not so much. Not mule, too. Survived to uh, 21, but our dog died during that. Got grenaded. The Doomsdays are in the back, so I might could have if I. I should have kept closer track. Legendary gear drop. Five random weapons and five random armors that are legendary. Or delay the next wave by three. I think I have to go with legend. I have never seen it. I kind of want to see. <laughs> Oh my god, what if it's legendary plate armor and like legendary clubs or some bull crap? Mule was just sleeping off his infection, yeah. I gotta see, I'm sorry. I've never had it. We're going true gambler here. Oh! No, big boss is dead. Two legendary. And we got a persona legendary one too. Psychic fog. Kill focused. Man, oh man. All right. <laughs> oh, it's legendary. We did get a legendary bow out of it. Okay, well, we don't have any psy casting. I mean, kill focus is still good. Persona weapons are still good. Psychic fog. Suppresses psychic sensitivity as well. Um, so we want to put that on one of our tough pawns. Saucy. Yeah, I don't really care. Go, go for it. Check the wealth curve, yeah. yeah. Went from 63,000 to like 78,000 during that. Thirty-one snipers are coming next. Oh, 
That's not zonable, right? No. Tame that squirrel. Most of the guns are bio-coded, yeah. The sniper ones, uh, so far when we've gotten those, have all been bio-coded. Okay. Who is on this friggin' squirrel? I really need it. McElster. Tame the squirrel. Thanks. Um, structure, what do we have? Sandstone, sandstone. Let's go. Oh, I can wait these sieges. Yes, this could be a siege and we're just dead, yeah. How can I use Svens in the maze? It slows enemies down. So the way that um, movement works in RimWorld is if a pawn or anything, you see how the squirrel's getting slowed down every step? Um, and they're just very cheap to make. They're they're one. We do have the pulsar still. If it's not nighttime when we get here. It's very cheap to make. It takes one material, goes up very quickly. It's basically no wealth but it still slows them down just as much as anything else. You don't put them every space because how it works in RimWorld is the first tile they hit something, they slow down. And if that uh, there's something in the next one, they go up to normal speed. So you have to put it every other if you want to uh, slow them down like that. She ran the barriers and sandbags. Yeah, and way, way, way faster to, to build. Put in the swirl there to cause collision, yep. If it's uh if it's a siege and it's not nighttime, we will use the animal pulser. It shouldn't be nighttime though, it just yeah, it shouldn't be. Extreme break on Shambler. Alright. We're gonna have to use the other Sooth Pulsar to get through this too, I think. Hmm. And here isn't doing too well either. Saucy's having time of their life. Let's go Saucy. That's a tribal turret, yeah. <laughs> Uh, what's the goal of the Winston run? I don't know that it's possible to get survived to the ship. Yeah. Winston can hits us every single day and can hit us with up to 25,000 raid points, which is two and a half times higher than normal storytellers at 500%. So the goal is to see how long we can survive. That's pretty much it. I want to see if I can... Right now, the... the the mini goal is to reach 50, but I got some ideas for the next run. We also got pretty unlucky during this one. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, saucy. Imagine 50,000 rate points. Yeah, we're talking about how much could actually hit with Winston. He could literally do a drop pod, a center drop in your your base, 
of 60 pirates, all of them with Doomsday Rockets. They're getting 100? I don't know. I, I hope. Yeah, that would be, that'd be awesome. But... Uh, to each colony? Uh, having multiple colonies screws it up, yeah. I tested that, too. All right, let's see what it ends up being. Let's go ahead and uh, get inside here. Okay, that was already points to be insane. We might end up having to do a mountain base, which is all right, but... Yoshi's crossbows? Oh man, which button is it? Yoshi's crossbows. The time has come Wrong one. for a medi rave. Where? I don't, I don't see one. Are you messing with me? <laughs> like, I, I'm not seeing one in my, my blinds. This is not open, so. Okay. <laughs> because I flow. Which button is it? There's a door there. Tread lightly. There it is. This is Boo's domain. There we go. Yoshi. Yeah, I I stayed up to get it done. I probably shouldn't have, but I did. Especially with the second game announced, you know. Tag immediately. Okay. Go. Where are they coming from? Right there. Thirty-one cross or uh, crossbow <laughs> uh, sniper rifles. All right. Let's see if the squirrel does the trick. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is. Next week, said waiting to post the whole run. Yeah, and I'm I'm gonna try to not look at the comments on that. Because I don't want spoilers. That's why I usually wait until it's completed, but yeah. And then I post it on there, I think, when it'll be live. We got two breakdowns right now, so if they actually make it through, we're probably screwed. Uh, it's working. It's causing collision. The squirrel is causing collision. <laughs> uh, exclamation pathing if you want to check out my guide that explains why that's actually happening. Way to go, squirrel! Squirrel saving the run, guys. <laughs> Nine hundred degrees. Come on. Should have started a little bit sooner. This was a little bitter being there by themselves. Oh, it's not biocoded. Burn, jerks. <laughs> Orbital beam targeter. Weak in the next wave, 50% points or pawn join. I haven't seen this one either. But let's weaken it, let's weaken it. Let's see what happens. Uh, weakened is 21 pirates. They feel no pain. Still pretty beefy, yeah. Some of these are not biocoded this time, which is uh, interesting. 
Wave 22. They feel no pain. Uh, pirate gunner, a boss, mercenary sniper. It's It could be sappers. It could be a drop. It could be... It looks like a normal attack. If you mouse over the diamond, it tells you the points. Almost 2,000 points used. Oh, I didn't even know this at all. Reward commonality at this wave. 43% chance at a good reward. They still burn if they're not sappers or anything like that, yeah. Good job, squirrel. Way to go. I don't feel pain how they feel about being barbecued. Wait a minute. Are they... They're not going to... Does that mean they're not going to reach a pain threshold? They might have to literally die from the fire. I don't think they're going to down and then burn. I think they're literally going to run through while... While burning. We'll have to see. This should be very interesting if we can get this set back up in time. Alright. As soon as it cool down, cools down in there. Got to a toasty 1200. I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. Yeah. Is it going to be the heat stroke? Or... It's going to be shock thresholds? I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to have to start earlier with them too. Yeah, probably as soon as they hit the map. All right, so I'm going to turn off construction here. Structure. Wood fins. Okay. Heat stroke lowers is consciousness, yeah. But I don't, I don't, I've never checked. I've never se seen which one actually makes them fall down first. So, I don't know. So, we'll see. Extreme lowers it to 10%. I wonder how fast they'll hit extreme. Do I have too much wood in yours? It gets to like 1800 plus. <laughs> That's very hot. Man. 40 OSHA inspectors next. I can't believe this run has survived longer than the previous one. I thought we were dead yesterday. Making like no progress, but we're alive, so. Let me get an idea to extend the oven. I kind of trying to wait for another extension because I want to make a better oven up here and connect it to an actual kill box instead of this little rinky dink thing but okay. have I passed the day count that's a good question Nope, we're 38. <laughs> we had a lot of extensions on that one. Next raid feels no pain. Let's plan for mechs right now. We have two Zeus hammers, two legendary Zeus hammers, and an EMP. So, um, that and pray, I guess. Pray to the RNG gods. We need more bodies again, but. Neff, think we lurk. Back to work, back to work. We have the pulser still. Chambler, I don't think I'm going to have you kite this one, so let's just take another... We got two of the bolsters, too. We have so little time prepare anything or fix anything those raid delays are like absolutely amazing when you get them 
All right, let's see what kind of raid this is. If it is a siege, you're gonna have to hit a pulser like immediately because it's getting towards the evening. Ah, uh, not quite. Pillars from the no killbox run help with pathing for mechs. Um, yeah, I and I have some ideas to do some more stuff like I did with the no killbox run in this one if we survive, or I mean, uh, if when we die on the next run. I'm gonna have to make some outer walls, even if just wood to start with, so I can really implement mint the kiting. Kiting's to be very important in this, I think. Attack immediately, okay. Where are they at? We need to light it immediately as well. collision is so nice. So it would have been double this size. That's actually crazy. Yeah, it's already 700 in there. Blistering hot. Minus 16. This place is searing hot. I think I could die from this heat. Heat stroke initial. Oh my god, guys. They're just kind of cruising through. It's 1,200 degrees. So they do usually fall from pain sh uh, shock threshold, I guess. Wow. We're going to have to make a longer tunnel. I was trying to delay and make one up top, but... 1,700 degrees. Minor heat stroke. Oh, there we go. It's going to serious now. So conscious dropped by only 20%. They still have to walk through the friggin' inferno. Jeez, man. Pawn joint, research boost. Three pawns. I think we're gonna do it. That's dry heat, don't worry, it's like Arizona. Tough brawler. Okay, well done, labor. Welcome to the colony. The wave mechanics. Uh, exclamation WW. Answer. Hands are welcome in. Kind. Sandra's 29. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give that one to the other Zeus Hammer, yep. Soul Sapper. Man, Soul Sapper. You've been super lucky on the ticket pools. Oh, holy crap. She pulls. That one's not as great, but we're keeping them. I had to disable the Q command for chat. It was, uh, having too many requests to the Twitch API, I believe, and it was making it go down. No out wall challenge. I don't know. I just finished a no kill box at all. No cover challenge. But, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Okay, so we're going to drop this. Where are you? Locus and that. Um, give you this. Tough Brawler, here you go. Oh wait, that was the bonded one, my bad. Who had the non-bonded saucy, okay. Coded, unfortunately. Okay. 
two doctor as well. Next wave, seven centipedes. Hopefully we can use the pollster for that one. Remind yourself that overconfidence Not is at all. <laughs> an Not insidious at all. killer. Seven centipedes, okay. And this is not done yet, so we'll probably end up fighting there. Um, so let's go ahead and set up the wood for the one after that, if we survive this one. We need a delay now. If we can get through this, which I don't know we can. If we can, we get a delay, we might be all right. Uh, yeah, I wish the centipedes could burn, yeah. They can't, unfortunately. But we can get it ready for the next wave after them if we survive this one. It doesn't take much time to get it ready anyway. All right, so if we want to melee block them um we need to set something else up here so we want them to come through here and we have short range weapons so we basically want them to come out right here Or there. We have, we got some slate. Is that run that we got uranium in as well? Or was that the previous run? Yeah, we have a little bit, okay. hours from now yeah it might be right in the early parts of the night I might have to kite with shambler until daytime and then pulse stronger the brick it's a lot stronger it has way more HP yep um, so uranium wall has 750 health whereas the slate my other option has 390 so I'm putting the uranium where our uh, bullets are gonna hit Yeah, I think we did get more uranium on the first run yet. Yeah, no problem, Era. So this in the burn oven, the floor can stay dirty. I know. Yeah. And they're actually cleaning under the fence, so I might actually place those if we ever have some downtime. Could send them out early too, yeah, depending on the timer, yeah. The pulsers don't stay berserk for super long. But we 
the heavy SMG over there? That's not biocoded. Lost my to uh, yeah. Too bad it's not a uh, jungle map. I don't think there's enough in or things in the map to take out seven uh, centipedes, but oil changed. Stay alive. Try, try. <laughs> we safe, Osquid. I have a minigun as well. It's not biocoded, yeah. I figured it was. The gun's actually really good at centipedes. one that wasn't biocoded. Check your legs, make puns. <laughs> Let's go, Inspector. Still alive, good nights. Had to run away in the end. I think I saw that documentary as well, yeah. If I remember right, it was a, the documentary is a little all over the place though. It was like, uh, it was a wildlife documentary like you're talking about. It also had some things in there about how to build castles in a swamp. Yeah, it's a good documentary, but a little a little all over the place. Make lewd comments anyway. Came king without being Norton. You don't vote for kings. Yes. We're getting nature documentary, yeah. About swallows. African or European? So about ducks, yeah. It was, it was mostly a nature documentary, yeah. <laughs> Medieval burial practices, yeah. Let's go and tell him. Brain damage, welcome in. Arcgeo sale. Welcome in also. Thank you guys for being here. Seven hours, my God. I'm kind of iffy on the EMP grenade. Cause we're gonna have... I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop this over here. And we're gonna have double Zeus Hammer. I mean, if the Zeus Hammer people will go down two Scythers, huh? What it was all the rocks and meteor event? Yes, yep. Two of them, back to back, actually. The Asian market? Hope the run's still alive to get back. God, I hope so too. If not, we'll be on to run three, I guess. Be safe, Doug. See you soon. All right, everyone get inside, just in case this is a drop. I doubt it is, but. <sighs> with the, with the uh, scythers, we can't really kite the centipedes. Yeah, I can't burn the mechs. Yeah. Why not use the go juice? Uh, it's tempting, but go juice can uh, be addictive the very first time you take it. Last time on a run, I went to take one for a fight on Emerald Dragon, actually, and immediately addicted, and I didn't have any other. So, and then ended up having uh, organ issues, and it was a mess. But yeah, it was the Igor run. Yeah, <laughs> it's like go juice, not even once. Everyone that was taking go juice, like the very first drinks, like addiction. Uh, mechs are immune to temperature. Yep. 
Yeah, what else? Addictive death. <laughs> Right, Shambler, we got a crazy plan here. Get ready to wake the muffalo. An addiction, will it kill ponds eventually? Um, like with a lot of the drugs, it will, it can cause certain organs to fail, yeah. Alright, let's do it. They're awake. Get in, close that door, hit the pulser. Nice. Oh God, there's, there's uh, there were some animals in the wall I didn't check. Oh, I guess the other animals were waking up already. I guess so. So I did that extra for uh, no reason, I guess. Scythers are getting pretty beat up. How many flame centipedes are there? No flame centipedes. Okay. Yeah, our donkey going mad. That would be. Good. It might be all right. I mean, they can still absolutely kill us. We have very few helmets, uh, for instance. Flying. Nice. Only one side throw. Two side left. <laughs> National Geographic again. He's going for you too. Hopefully the pulse doesn't end. Oh, that's going to be taking some friendly fire. Excellent. Still a scyther up, too. If we get an extension after this, we'll get the top kill box done. I mean, I don't know. This one can work pretty well with what we have set up. So maybe first off, we'll extend the burn tunnel. David Attenborough. Oh my god, they are just... The animals aren't even getting in range anymore. <laughs> the turkey running the battle. Look at this. They The mechs basically have a kill box set up. So the pulser basically killed... I mean, it killed eight, right? It killed a lot of the lancers. All the centipedes. They're learning. The mechs are forming kill boxes. God, this is gonna be brutal. Yeah. So if the other Lancer dies, we could actually kite once the animals are dead. The American frontier during the colonial times looks like it. <laughs> the raids are gonna be sitting on both sides. Tell me. You come into our kill box. No, no, no. You come into our kill box. One hundred chupacobras when you need them. 
The Lancer has been quite beat up. Godspeed, Shambler. Uh, yeah, it's it's arms are still fine. Shambler, hope you like kiting. Cause you're gonna be doing it as long as your mood holds out. Yeah, there, Sh Chandler will not be able to kill all these before his mood goes down, but he can outrange all of them, and so, and he's a jogger. The unfortunate event. <laughs> I don't even need to shoot them. Honestly, it's, it's just about buying time right now. A man under attack happens though. <laughs> Chandler is screwed. So are those guys. Three damage. He's probably not going to hit. Oh, mud. Be careful. Like he's, oh, he actually hit. He's not trigger happy though. He's not a shooting specialist. 10 shooting. Penguin hard worker, body pure, 61. I want to at least wait until the rain and stuff is done so we don't have that hurting our mood and our accuracy when we actually fight them. Uh, you might be a sacrifice. I'm not sure yet. Okay, Shamler, come in. Let's go, Nick. I wonder if this one can actually finish the Lancer. They might be able to. <laughs> See the name change? They know what's going on. Start only after only after I complete it, yep. Coming in from YouTube, that's awesome. Thank you for watching it over there. I think I might try to kill the Lancer, the melee here. The melee attack from, from this one. They're actually not bad, aside from being old and a body purist, so. If we can kill this one and then kite back. I don't have a choice here.
Don't have a three. I probably should just let them shoot it. Good job. Also left centipedes. Okay. The <laughs> sacrifice can he stay? He can stay. Okay, let's run them all up here. Shooting frenzy. Oh, that was out of box. Fisty cuffs. Delay, delay. When's the next wave timer start when we defeat this one? I actually think this skill box is better against this group of centipedes than the open one, especially because we have all, pretty much all chain shotguns right now. Wait, some more time? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do on the next one. Forever by cutting a load injured mech. Yeah, I would I probably wouldn't take it to that level, but I'm trying to kite at least till storms and crap are done, you know. Might actually keep this person in the long run. They might not be a uh, a sacrifice after all. Especially with how much we just need bodies. Kaipon and just time their loops. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the squirrel's fungus? No. He's not a jogger. I, I kind of forgot about that. Okay, that mech is coming by itself. So the other ones are breaking off. Okay. Looks dangerous it is. <laughs> this is the second attempt yet. Still yet. Okay, well the rain has stopped. Now we just need to be daytime and then we'll uh, we'll try to do some of this. It's gone. Kurt, welcome in. The Eagle Run. <laughs> this is a really fun run. This run, last episode this morning. <laughs> Yeah, this one's been really crazy already, too. Uh, thank you for watching.
Who had the other... DG, okay. Almost daytime, I think... We're gonna let them spread out again, and then we're gonna try to kill at least a couple of them. We can close it back if we need to. We'll keep kiting out here. All right. Okay, we got three incoming. They've all turned now, okay. Should have left or stayed there with the EMP. Someone's just dead automatically. Man, oh man, the difference of not having having helmets, huh? Dead. Legendary 2000 Kim Fuel. <laughs> I guess we'll take uh, the pawn. So York is dead. Uh, let's see. 12 hours. Okay. What's the new pawn? Chicken with a bad back. 47. Next wave. 56. Enemies use a combination of grenades, rocket launchers, and snipers. Okay. Uh, let's see. Turn these tinted to... Are you on it? Okay. All right, chicken, let's get you a name, I guess. I don't know, you're 47, bad back. I might just let you get kidnapped off the next one. If it's a normal raid, we can just burn tunnel it, but it's not. It's gonna be pretty rough. 
can only burn them if they're not a sapper or a breach or something like that. Lots of little bleeds. Do you have one pulser left too? 1.1 days, man, I mean. Return the door, they're open. Breacher Sapper? We don't know. We don't know. It doesn't tell you what type, just what the enemies are going to be. So it's from a tribe. So assuming it's not going to be... Uh, yeah, we don't know. It could be a Sapper raid for sure. It doesn't look like there's any Breachers in it. It's tribal, so it's not going to be a drop. They were hanging out for so long. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Are uh, you looking for the Twitch Prime information? It's just Exclusion Prime. Sapper, like soul sapper. <laughs> I've been pretty lucky with uh, getting runs, but. Welcome back. Your it's too small for a standard. 56. Greatly appreciated. The last wave was. Wait, does this talk about the coming wave? If so, it's 3,200 points. 3,274. Tune anyone else? It's a Twitch problem. Um. So it's a common Twitch hey, problem. Everybody, my name is Cletus. Anybody want some cornbread? To fix it, uh, Zor Mask, blow your video, click on the gear, click on advanced, and turn off low latency mode. Uh, Conk. Conk, thank you for the three months. Thank you, Conk. And Justy, thank you for the four months during all that craziness. Ginger Justice. Uh, I didn't hear that one come through. I don't know why. Uh, Ginger, thank you for using Twitch Prime here too. And Ever in Bloom for the three months. Thank you, Ever in Bloom. Ginger Justice. Justy and Conk. Please also comment Twitch for all man. <laughs> Feels like that. Sometimes. Sometimes. Points differently, that was seven centipedes and nine Lancer Scythers, yep. They're a normal raid. It's not showing breachers though, so I'm I'm kind of worried it's sappers. I think this one's a standard one based on the size and the raid points. Fifty-six. Run day forty-two. Jeez, only forty-two. These are tribal, right? Bunch of ads every 10 minutes. Everyone on Twitch is getting it, yep. Twitch is increasing the ads on the platform. I don't know if you can hear me because there might be ads going, but uh, the only way to stop it, I'm not supposed to condone ad blockers, so I'm gonna tell you not to use 
Pi Hole, P-I-H-O-L-E, or you block with the add-on that blocks ads on Twitch, definitely don't do that. The only other way to stop ads at this channel is to subscribe. But yeah, Twitch is just adding a lot of, uh, a lot of ads. Definitely don't use that. Could you imagine? Okay. Worth it. See ya. She got their silver first, probably, but whatever. Fourteen hours. Okay. Sharp increase in ads. Yep. Yeah in general cause ads play for subscribers that's right so for anyone that doesn't know um on this channel so the creator can choose whether ads are turned off for subs or not mine has always been off for subscribers however if you are a subscriber here and it could be happening in other channels obviously depending on that content creator and what they set up but uh if you are a subscriber to a channel that you're not supposed to get ads on as a subscriber and you're still getting them it's because Twitch has implemented something that tries to detect ad blockers and get around them. And it will implement even if you are a subscriber somewhere and are not supposed to get ads. Uh, and it will force ads on you even as a subscriber. So I had to whitelist, not that I use ad block, I had to whitelist um, a couple channels that uh, I'm I'm in because I was getting ads even as a, as a subscriber there. Snow button Sarah, welcome in. Lunar. Sparrow. Thank you, thank you. But yeah. Ads have gotten really crazy. And the really insane part about it, like, ads are crazy everywhere, but on Twitch, the ads are long, too. Like, on YouTube, I get an ad, it's like five... The unskippable ads that I get are usually five seconds on YouTube. You know what? Have that on Twitch is not a big deal. It still kind of sucks, but, you know, whatever. Five seconds. I can deal with that. Holy crap, you get ads on here that are like, you get like two or three minutes of ads. It's like. And the people that don't want ads or uh, are super bothered by them are going to end up blocking them anyway. So they're basically trying to get revenue out of the people that aren't blocking them, punishing them with even more and more minutes of, of ads. whole documentaries as ads uh, on YouTube. <laughs> ads are why you stopped watching TV years ago and it's been following you, yeah? It's one silly idea. If I didn't use an ad block personally, which one would I not use? So if you want to stop ads at the network level and have it work for like your entire house, uh, I would not use Pi-hole, P-I-H-O-L-E. It's harder to get set up. Uh, you have to have this anyway you can look into it i mean don't look into it but then you can just set it and forget it kind of and it works on your on your network if you're doing it on a single device uh, i definitely wouldn't use u block that's just the letter u block and i definitely wouldn't look at uh, the uh, update or the add-on to it to block twitch spe specifically with u block you run your own that doesn't work great i've never heard that from anyone Let's use it. Use all three. Right now, I'm not using U-Block with the add-on. Yeah. You're right, what? I'm not supposed to condone ad blockers as a Twitch partner, so. It's going by. What are we doing with that little area at the top? It's gonna eventually be a weird kill box.
<laughs> and the rest of blocker is the free prime sub. <laughs> One well, of two icons, um, strategic approach. Enemies use a combination of grenades, rocket launchers, and snipers. So. We've never seen this one, so. I don't know exactly what to expect. If you really don't want a DNS resolver, like honestly, it's terrible, but check out Unbent. Oh, it doesn't work great. Gotcha, gotcha. You were going along with me. I gotcha. Yeah, it's multiplied by 0. 0.7 because of the the modifier, which brought it down to the 3200. You and your friends have just measured the heights of your dogs in millimeters. Because <laughs> why wouldn't you? Maybe a little bit further, yeah. Oh, we got geothermal finally. Good lord, we had that earlier last time. Um, okay. Uh, we might actually have electricity on this run if we can survive this wave. I mean, when when we survive this wave. immediately Fifty. oh my god who's the first one over here shambler man i don't know it looks like they're beelining here did it say the mother of soul sapper jesus Okay, they're coming through the tunnel. Right. Why? What? That's it. GG. Why did one of them break off and do that? What the crap? Sacrifice. Go get kidnapped, please. It's got to be something with this uh, storyteller modifier. Ah, uh, they're dead, so they're not getting kidnapped. Is there any doomsdays left? Oh yeah, there's plenty. There is plenty. Run 24. Yeah, I think the modifier makes it so there's literally a mix of raid types. No, no, I'm going to keep playing as Winston Waves. It's only the second day. Yeah. It's only the second attempt. We'll probably be doing this for a couple weeks. Yeah, so I, apparently that's what that modifier must mean. Never seen it before. I guess we'll know for next time. <laughs> Real of each any wave. Uh, I can do that. <laughs> All right, run number two. That was a pretty unlucky run, and we actually managed to make it further. So, uh, and now I have a lot more information that we can do um, for the next run. A man in black. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. So what is our new record? This one's only three more days than the other one. Well, 
Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be doing this for a while. This run is probably always going to lose. It's probably always going to lose because that's what it's designed to do. Mountain base. I'm not going to switch to mountain base yet, but I do think mountain base would be the strongest overall. So, um, but yeah, I learned a lot in this one. So we're going to do a similar run. I'm going to change ideologies a little bit. Um, and I actually might start as crash landed. <laughs> yeah, even mountain base is going to be hard, but I'm not going to do one yet. So now we know what the modifier does. I've never gotten that one before. So a combination of it seems more like it's a combination of strategies because some of the group was running like in a normal way and the other one was acting as sappers. This one was tribal. Ugh. Uh, cheesing rival, you can't. So basically what it what they have put in place on this is that this is actually a tribal raid. Tribals can be given with modifiers, weapons that other uh, factions can have. This was a tribal raid with Doomsdays. So it doesn't matter, and we can't ally uh, pirate fact or I mean uh, savage tribe. So um, alliances had nothing to do with this one. But uh, we're gonna move on to run number three. Let me get the day and stuff here. We got 43, 24, and 43. Okay. So run we got. A new record, 43. And we saw a run 24. That was a much uh, worse run than previously, but it lasted. We actually made it further because of uh, learning some stuff there. And then record, we'll change this to wave 24, day 43. Also gonna roll the pawns differently. So. Hopefully our rewards are better this time. We got really, really bad rewards. I'm thinking about doing crash landed with extra research, yeah. That's because we're already battle. It's so crazy to battle the raids and whatnot. To also be battling the map and battling our scenario is a little, a little too much. I'm not going to switch the mountain map yet, though. Um, I'm still thinking maybe going in jungle. Not sure. Chandler, thank you for the 10 gifts. Thank you, Chandler. The Major Hurts, Div, Full Fathom, Small Vince, AK, Death Force, Azrael, Adon, and Zell, and Cookie Monster. No, I'm not going to disable any events or anything like that. All right. Uh, I'll be right back, and then we'll get started on run number three. Learned a lot on those two runs, though. All the VODs that keep you sane during your no sleep. Yeah, thank you, Chandler. Um, but a big big support of the stream all right i'll be right back
All right, round number three. <clears throat> Run number three. Seems near impossible to do in a, in a tree business. Yeah, I mean, if we have a good spawn on it, if we have a good spawn on the anima tree, which we did one time. Uh, uh, if you redeem the granny, just let me know. Sometimes it doesn't pop up, and then you'll have to do exclamation quote afterwards, and the granny will read your quote. Sometimes it rolls a an interesting one, sometimes not so much, but yeah, if you've already spent the points, just do exclamation um, quotes. First time I came to the stream live, that's awesome. We're, you're right at the start of a new run, so. Mountain time, not yet, not yet. I probably will at some point, but I'm not quite resigning to the mountain just yet. It's like my dear old granny used to say. Chat only causes problems anyway. Wow, granny, way before her time. Dissing chat. <laughs> okay, let's get it set up. Uh, so the things I'm going to do differently this time is I'm going to try Crash Landed. And uh, so our record is what, 24 now? I'm going to try Crash Landed for the research boost. I need to get a double outer wall and I need everyone to be good at construction from the get-go. All right. Wise woman ahead of her time. New colony, crash landed ideology. Is this the one we want to go with? Uh, all right. Um, what do they start with? I'm trying to remember. It's been so long. I don't. I can't even remember the last time I did. One of these. So we started the bolt action, a revolver, and a knife. Okay. And just to, to lower how long it takes to re-roll stuff, we're going to have tough on our starting three. And that's, that's fine. Everything else we're leaving the exact same. Okay, we're gonna try uh, crash landed and just to save time on rerolls, I would reroll until we're all three tough anyway for this, so screw it. Crafting research pawns for drugs. Uh, well, here's the thing. By the time we even have our first batch of drugs come in, we're already gonna be uh, at the point where we're having everyday raids all the time. I think there's two big things here. One is gonna be extending waves as long as we can. And it's that fast. It's five days in. <laughs> five days in, yep. Um, extending raids as long as we can, within reason, and then um, getting double outer walls as fast as possible, and then just getting a bunch of bodies is kind of what I'm going to test this time. All right, Winston Waves. Uh, so we're going to continue our Winston Waves playthrough. This is playthrough three. So if you haven't heard of Winston Waves, exclamation WW in chat will explain it, or if you want to see... Uh, obviously, you'll see here in a second, but you want to see me go over Winston Waves. Uh, I did that at the beginning of the VOD from yesterday. All right. If you've ever been in a run, Duck, I don't remember your name being in yet. So, no pause is always commitment mode. We're going custom. We're going to set it to the hardest difficulty. Losing is fun and bump that to the max of 500%. Everything else is default. Yeah, I, I updated x -Nation Winston. Thank you. We're going to use the same world. Um, and we're going to use a similar location, but we're going to max population. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, we're going to use a little bit bigger map size, and I am going to use just an open map again. Um, I mean, that map is just a very standard map i could just go with it again or do i want to try going the jungle route one more time this one's got some trade partners relatively close this one has a lot of trade options uh is this year long growing up here i'm not gonna be too specific on it because honestly these runs don't last very long anyway <laughs> 
Here's a pretty nice area. Year long. We got quite a few trade groups. Okay, we're going to look for uh, sandstone because it goes up fast. Sandstone marble. All right. Year long. We're going to try temperate forest one more time. My jungle. This run needs a lot of wood. Jungle has more wood. But it also constricts our building, unfortunately. So I'm going to go temperate forest one more time. Amazon affiliate. Uh, exclamation Z-O-N. If you click that link. You can even bookmark the link if you want. Just use that when you shop. As long as that's the last link you click or go to with an Amazon affiliate link before you add something to your cart, it should work. Okay. Um, so, we're going to load the saved one, but we're going to edit this a little bit. So, I've still been using the one that we started blindly on. Um... But we don't have enough time to do proselytizer at all. Mountain, not yet. But I think if when this one fails, we'll go to mountain next. So we don't have time to do proselytizer. So I'm going to remove proselytizer. And what would help us more? Cannibalism would be great for mood, as long as we don't get a lot of mechs in a row. But uh, as we saw last time, it is absolutely possible to get lots of mechs in a row. I don't know that we're going to be able to get to the autobong. High life would be kind of nice too, but man... It's going to be so hard to get drugs in and get the autobahn set up. Something that doesn't take extra time. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking mainly cannibal just because it's going to be a mood boost, a bigger mood boost every time a human raid comes in for animal blocks. I don't know. Flesh purity. <laughs> I think I'll try cannibal this time. Cannibal is going to be great for our mood, yeah. Okay, slavery is acceptable. Cannibalism, um, let's see. It is preferred. Saint meat love, I yield high. Respect of guilty, uh, no rules on that. No rules, fungus preferred, small spaces don't care. Corpses don't care. We're gonna min-max this a little bit. We're still not switching over our min-max one though. Don't have much time for crafting weapons. Uh, human primacy also does some passive stuff in here that's really nice. For instance, don't care about corpses is in uh, human primacy. But it's also connected to... Or no, it's connected to supremacy. Uh, the bonding disproved one, I guess, is all it's really doing aside from crafting. Yeah, I don't know if we'll ever be able to craft, so we might... We might go through that one and, and replace it at some point as well. Don't die within 30 minutes while you're on your way back. Diversity of thoughts. Uh, we could go intense bigotry so that we have a mood boost later when we have the, the area looking like our ideology, but until then, it's going to be kind of rough. I think I'll try it anyway, though. Might even try to go um, fluid. I might just use the fluid min max one at some point. Of course, I don't care. We're going to actually make research fast. Uh... Okay. Leader. Uh, I really don't care what this one is called. We'll just go with Chief. Moral Guide. We'll just go with Abbott. Melee Specialist, no. Production Specialist. Maker. I hate that it resets the stuff. And Shooting Specialist. Shot user. <laughs> there we go. It also reset these. Good lord. Alright, we're going to do uh, drums. Right, we can't do drums because we're not uh, tribal. I could set it as tribal, but... Um... No, I won't. We'll just do social party. Okay, social festival. We'll add the maximum for those, which is six. We'll save this for next time so we don't have to do it again. Well, burn boxes lose your perk from cannibal. A lot of the corpses spill over through it. Not everyone, not every uh, humanoid raid is going to come through the burn tunnel anyway. I think it'll be okay. No rules against Winston waves. But yeah, it might be something we, we end up changing, you know. Okay, anytime. 
Uh, random recruit. Anytime. Random recruit. Anytime. There we go. Festivals are set up. Small altar. Altar. All right, we'll save this one. So this time we're just trying out cannibalism over proselytizer. Burnt cell beans are pre-cooked. What ended the run? Uh, so we got a new modifier that I hadn't seen before. So basically it was a tribal attack and the tribals had explosives. However, when they attacked, it said they were attacking immediately. It didn't say they were breaching or sapping, but the modifier also said there'd be multiple kinds of enemies in the raid. And so they all looked like they were going to the burn tunnel. There's like 52 of them or something. And then like a few of them cut off from the raid and went around and actually bombed the outside wall and everything just poured in. And they had doomsday rockets, triple rockets. It was uh, it was really crazy. So, no, I don't want to venerate any animals. All right. So we are going to uh, do random plus here. So what random plus does, if you've never used this mod, this mod, you set it up to what you're looking for. It will literally roll it for you until it naturally hits it, and then it'll stop going. If you're like me, I really hated it. Uh, I really hate it, but I always did it is if I were I was looking for a good construction person, I would be hitting randomize over and over. And then I would at, I would get in the groove of doing it and I would see a good construction person and accidentally hit randomize again. And it really sucked. So this mod um, absolutely helps a ton not doing that. Uh, so anyway, we want construction and plants. Uh, and the rest I'm not even gonna worry about. Let's see. Let's see what that rolls. Health conditions. All right. Only stats in Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Body pierce? No. No. I know. Probably not. Saves so much time. Like I, it would take me 217 rolls to get this, and I would roll past it. Roll past it now because it's a pyro. Tough Misandrus. It's tempting. Tough Trigger Happy. There we go. Okay. Give a violence. No, thank you. Slow learner. Nope. <laughs> Undergrounder. I'm probably not going to do that in this one. Give a violence. Give a violence. Go on. <laughs> Tough Nimble Melee. Tough, nimble. Uh, absolutely. All right. So wait for one minute. Yeah, it was it was brutal. Tough kind. So these are not going to be good at shooting. I also don't have anyone that's good at cooking, but we're crash landed, so we could actually do paste early. That would save a lot of cooking time as well. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna reroll a couple times. Should have probably rerolled the ones below. Jealous doesn't matter for this run. Great memory. Great memory can get very good at almost anything. Good doctor. We'll go with that. We'll reroll these a couple times. The odds of us getting uh, any of these is probably pretty low. Like, we'd have to get a quest or something to even uh, get a chance at them, and I, I, I don't see that happening. Soylent Green. Jealous gave you a minus eight in a barracks. It shouldn't unless there's another... You If you have no bedrooms on your map, then it won't do it. Did you have a bedroom somewhere for, for someone? Oh, they don't, they don't care about prisons, yeah. But any kind of room that's designated as a as an actual bedroom, they'll get upset about. So, like, if you have a royal that has their own bedroom, your jealous pawn will get upset.
Jealous doesn't matter in a barracks, but greedy does, yeah. All right, let's grab three names and let's see how this one goes. First in on this one. Al, welcome in. Next, we got Derpy Ninja. <laughs> nice. Uh, Derpy Ninja is the uh, nimble one. Excellent. Last one. I had to disable the commands because, uh, yeah, <laughs> you, you, it would be bad if if anyone in chat could do the exclamation choose because you just delete a bunch of people's channel points for no reason. Anyway, I had to delete the other ones too because it was uh, it was being used too much, and it was getting the the bot locked out from the Twitch API, and then I couldn't pull names. So, all right, run number three. Okay, so we don't know this map. Uh, we're gonna try to settle back. in the middle. I need to get a appreciated. Um, something change about the ad frequency. Yes, uh, a notice came out from Twitch, uh, leaked or whatever that they're gonna increase ads on Twitch. So, yes, you, I don't know if you can hear me. You might be hit, getting hit with an ad, but. Uh, who was that? Dino! Dino, thank you for the seven months. Thank you, Dino. Seven months already. How far did I get? I got to wave 24 in the last one. Let's see. I need to get double outside wall done quickly. We're gonna have a... Um, we don't have anyone that's fast walker or anything like that. Did anyone down here roll fast walker or jogger? Fast walker. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. I think it'll still be okay. Uh, I don't think of the reset. Five months already, and you're in a run. Double wall, burn box. Try to extend some run. We'll use the, the, the outer walls with the doors. Okay. All right, let's do it. Run number three. Here we go. Crash landed, man. I haven't done crash landed in a long time. So we'll have electricity from the beginning, which is going to be odd. <laughs> I don't think we've really made it to real electricity, having very much hooked up to electricity in these so far. So our goal right now is to make it past wave 24. Past 24. All right, uh, let's go ahead and allow everything. Um, what do we got here? This is pretty open in the middle. Okay. Anima tree is not in a great place. Um, orders, allow everything. Okay, repair, home zone, turn that on. We got rich soil near the middle. Not really. This is the closest we have. That's where we're settling then. Zone. Go ahead and just throw down some rice to start with. I know they want mushrooms instead, but this grows much faster. So we'll get that going. And structure. I forgot they have uh, the sickness when they first come in. The sickness. Okay. Chop wood in here. Okay, you guys get on plant growing, please. Change the other stuff in a minute. Generous bestowal. Six. Who was that? Uh, Wondering Duck. Thank you for the 100 bits. The new run hype. Thank you. OK, 
Okay, that's good enough for now. Stockpiles then. We'll be able to build beds from the beginning too. That's also going to be bizarre. Okay, get some rice down. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Firefighting, patienting. We're gonna put everyone on doctoring for right now. Bed rest, basic, warden, handling. Eh. We have no good cooks. Uh, so we're gonna go with probably nutrient paste early. I think we don't care about. Destruction, we're gonna go with a one on everyone. Uh, we'll cut one of the construction ones back to a two. And grow first. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Block cutting. Uh, Calorina, same reason the Twitch Prime here. You probably heard this a time or two. I know you said you watch a lot of the Twitch VOD, or I mean the YouTube VOD, so. Cast name is a tier one sub. Thank you for the support. Back to the old road. That's right. You will arrive. I'm going to be seared into my brain for my entire life. Thank you. Okay, we're going to do um, an Adderall much sooner, even if it's just wood, and it doesn't even have to be very large to start with, or you just need to get something down. And then we can expand from there, no problem. But uh, we'll get some of this rich soil... And it give us a little wiggle room, even if it's just friggin' wood. Uh, do you have a table nearby that we can confiscate? No, it's fine. All the stuff we start with tra crash landed. Jeez, it's so it's so crazy opening this and seeing all that. It's been so long, so long. Allowance of Bezo Bucks ever since the program was installed. Really? I didn't realize that this is the uh, first place he had used yours at. Thank you, Narf. Okay, uh, we got an Ancient Danger down there. Some components. We start with some components as crash landed. There's some steel. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry. I've been doing that, and uh, I forget that it resets. I wish it didn't reset at the beginning of the run. Yeah, thank you for the reminder. There we go. It was behind chat again. It's going to rest. Asriel? It was easier. Yeah, I didn't know this was the first place, though. Story day. Such a conundrum. Don't know which video to leave mean comments on. <laughs> that is a problem. is a real problem. I don't know. Kim Fuel ones don't short out. Can't remember if these ones do or not. A gleaming endowment. Willem! Willem, thank you for the thousand bits. Thank you for showing me your endowment. Thank you, Willem. I appreciate it. <laughs> And it begins.
Okay, let's go ahead and put them on this biphasic. The modified biphasic, the 2 3 system here. Okay. Alright, four days, four days. Someone put a force in our house. It's alright, it'll die. Just like the rest of the force. Normal instead, because the prime one has to be renewed manually. Yeah, that is an annoying part about it. Let's talk about that the other day. Badge swag. Oops. Okay, so basically everyone I grab can do construction. Normal quality. Normal quality, it's good enough for now. Might actually catch on fire. I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember um, how much wood fire generator actually produces. We're about to find out. One town guard, one town councilman. So our first raid is going to be two pirates this time, two outlanders, whatever you want to call it. But okay, how to do that? Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty is greatly appreciated. Who's that? Tonic Walrus. Four months already. Hopefully you can try and catch live more often. Yeah, and if, if not, I mean, obviously the VODs and YouTube are always there, but thank you. field house is a field first time here been watching a bunch of videos on youtube recently that's awesome favorite watch over there which one did you find first out of curiosity always curious okay, get that done very nice <laughs> All right, well, that's not mine, so I was asking. Not the first ever RimWorld one, but the first one of mine. Six months behind, yeah. Have you watched every single minute of everything on YouTube? So what does it matter if it's six months behind if you haven't watched everything yet? This is round number three, North. Let's go on 86. Let's bring these in. Hall, 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 hall. Uh, ninja, you can grab these. Adds a mobile even if you're subbed, not using an ad blocker. It doesn't show that you're subbed, so. Or die. But no, you shouldn't. But it doesn't show a sub on yours, so. Pull a trap, see a butcher table at the end. <laughs> yeah, get out of there. <laughs> uh, Kruger, thank you for the gift sub. To Dwork, I'm gonna go with. Dwork.
And I hate building this outside wall as wood, but we'll replace it later. Uh, let's see, where is our small altar? Here we go. Need more wood. It literally just expired and they immediately showed you an ad. <laughs> Ever worth it? Fall map positions, etc. I don't know, on this specific storyteller, I'm not sure. Seems like I need everything concentrated. The fluid one? Oh man, that's a crazy first episode. Join the Igor in the 20 year run. That's awesome, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, the fluid one, that's probably the greatest first episode of uh, RimWorld I think I have. God, it is the absolute, it's the worst uh, in the best sort of way. It shows you just how god awful Randy can be in the jungle. It took us four years to research a bed, <laughs> like, the fluid run, uh, exclamation fluid for anyone that hasn't seen it. In fact, the very first episode of that is so packed with events that, um, crazy, like, story type events that several of, like, my most memorable moments in over 3,000 hours of RimWorld are all from that first episode of the first fluid run. One over the past couple days, it was so wild, that poor prostitute. It is absolutely insane. They're watching that silly idea. World map had from all the playlists you saw. Yeah, I think the Igor map in, is now the best one I've ever had. But pretty close. Episode where Randy, or where Randy was sleeping. The poor daughter with her daddy story. Yes, yes, that one. That one. That's the one. Three days. With biphasic, how do you deal with night owls? Biphasic is so good that I just leave them on it too. Night owls are kind of a pain in general, but biphasic is, is strong enough where you can literally just leave them on biphasic and it, it generally doesn't matter because of how much mood it produces. Oh, it's playing my favorite P music song to start us off. think three spacer pawns will be enough compared to the five tribals i don't know yeah that's i'm experimenting you know this is only the third run against him and uh, we're learning some things every time so i don't know i really don't know I don't think we need that too, but what kind of range is on animal for collision? It needs to be right by the entrance. Um, you can look at the pathing guide if you want, the exclamation pathing. It's a little bit more complex than the guide shows. The answer is it depends. And I know I hate answering that with so many things, but it does depend. Uh, but yeah, as close to the entry door to your maze or your attack area as possible should be good enough. If it doesn't work, then that probably means that it's right on the edge of a map zone, which is a whole nother can of worms. But yeah, close to your entrance should work in like 99.9% .9 of uh, cases. Uh, yeah, it does not work for me, unfortunately.
Yeah, we very well might go back to tribal. But I figure I'd test this. Greatly appreciated. Any tips for map maces? Never did one. Started playing on Harvest Tality 220. Keep losing. Uh, what are you losing to? Insects or? Keep music on Spotify has become your working soundtrack. Need to focus. It's so good, yeah. Thank you, Sparrow. Oh. But yeah, it depends on what is actually killing you or if it's a different thing each time. Gooch Tornado! Uh, Gooch, welcome back. The reason the Twitch Prime here, Gooch. Four months already. No more ads yet. <laughs> Nude Survivor is clearly the winning strat. I think Tribal is going to end up being the, the better one, but I was I wanted to try this. Alright. Two days. Um... I think we can finish the outside in that time. We're going to leave it open for a little bit, though. But let's finish the double ups here. Tribal due to more bodies. Yeah, and I can make all five of them be good at construction and just get it done. Uh, Yeah, this is just crash landed. Yep, which I haven't done in a long time. So I'm going to test it and see if I like starting with electricity more than just having five bodies for this challenge. But I'm thinking probably not. one off. <laughs> it's probably not going to matter in the long run, but might as well go ahead and fix it. In 0.8 days, then it's going to be super crazy. Need to ask you about your power spikes the wealth biggest points in your playthrough like getting specific weapons and researches so i play naked brutality a lot and i usually try to stick like under 15 to twenty thousand wealth until i research um depending on what happens in the playthrough but usually until i research like mortars uh smgs and flak but the big thing for me if you watch the wealth guide is i only did i go one off again no i'm good uh, I only really start to expand on things with wealth that can defend itself. So like new good pawns that can fight, equipment for those pawns. And I try to just shove everything in one room and only have what I need. Also try to get a person that's a dedicated caravan person to get wealth off my map as soon as possible. Boz, you want to use off-colored walls? I'm going to have to do these kind of runs, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's more about if you want to play the same style I'm playing, there's obviously lots of ways to play. But staying low wealth until, uh, and the wealth that you do add is wealth that can defend itself. Better um, fighting pawns, better weapons, better armor, stuff like that. Except them at the start. <laughs> No, if you, if you tell me, I'm going to probably use even more of them, honestly. God, I hate 
using all these wooden walls. Alright. Uh, we don't need that many yet. Even just one is probably fine for now, actually. Turrets might be useful since they don't get tired. Still just too low. Light worthwhile. I don't know. We've never made it to turrets in one of these runs. The one thing that would have been nice with turrets is that we could force sappers to go where we want. So if we had turrets on the last run, we might have actually been able to force sappers into the burn tunnel. But um, as far as like just for defense, I mean... Since wells doesn't matter in this run, any kind of extra firepower like that would be would be good. At the very least, it's they'll take shots that colonists aren't taking. So if we can get there and we can actually have the materials, enough materials to keep them up. Uh, but yeah, we've never made it to turrets. So this time we'll be able to use turrets because we already have electricity. But I mean, on the last run, we had just gotten to electricity when we lost. So it just depends, I guess. I would like to try them out, if we can make it to them. base earlier so many doors so I can have uh, a way to kite and break the raids into smaller parts. 500 tight skill boxes, triple wall, everything made of stone. There simply isn't enough time. Yeah, that's that's why I think one of the, the two biggest best rewards that we can get is extensions on time and more colonists. So that's one reason why I've gotten this up so fast. I'm going to try to get some early uh, joins and go from there. No one is going to have good mood, so. Does the highlight clip still work? It does, yep. Yeah, Exclamation Highlight is still a, a clip of me using the, the outer wall and door thing. Uh, Lish, hopefully everything's all right. Yeah, I, I did try jungle for the first run. I might try it again for a couple reasons. We'll see. 84% without a leader. Let's go. So you do anything on wealth at all or just constantly build up pressure? So all the events in the game, other than raid events, other than raid events, still can trigger and are based off of Cassandra's coding. So yes, having a lot of wealth will mean like Manhunter packs are going to be much larger, but the actual ways themselves won't be larger. New lovers already. Forty-two slowpoke bloodlust medical research. We gotta take just about anyone we can. So, clips are laying down you as well. I haven't set that part up yet. But yeah, I can't. I do know how to set it up now, but I haven't had time. Yeah, I'll be doing the, the extended walls for the no kill box on this one too, if I can get there. Uh, shift, welcome in. If I can make it that far. Derby Ninja's sister.
22 hours, jeez. Here's geothermal. I'm probably not gonna worry about it, but oh, it's actually really close. First raid, we'll just let hit the uh, hit the traps. All right, call number three. gonna have to work over auto doors till we can get to that point should be as long this run though god this freaking thing <laughs> i think you can disable the drag on it to look at that oh wonder if you can do the 20 year challenge with sandra then once you beat that run turn on winston how long would that last i don't know no. Definitely do that though. Rare thrombos. Interesting. Uh, we got 13 hours. Okay. Off the barracks, yeah. So that gets a two, and we'll go from there. Okay. Woods are gonna swap them to stone in a bit because something's better than nothing. So um, it's gonna take a while to do all that, but yeah, the wood we can just uh, it builds very very quickly, and it's just something's better than nothing is the only. Real reasoning. Your salary is to be cool with waves. Yeah, I wonder if it resets if you do that. Yeah, I'm not sure. I know you can turn it on and off and switch between it. It's in the FAQ thing for the storyteller, but <laughs> take the thrombo. Yeah, we don't have anyone that could do that. I don't even think we got a taming inspiration. If we got a taming inspiration on arc shift, we could actually grab one, and I would do it. Dull bears again. So if we get a team inspiration, we'll get a thrombo. Odds are not. Uh, odds are that we will not get one. I haven't switched anyone to a leader yet because I don't want to. Um, I don't want to have that mood hit on another person, but... There we go. I'm not going to delay this one or anything. Got two with guns. Uh, let's see. 
reward drop spot. We'll just put it down here. Yeah, so it doesn't just land wherever. I don't. I'm not sure where why it or where it decides without it. A royal, just in case we get one. I probably won't do any royal. Well, I mean, I guess we could have the ones just auto join, huh? One of them was nimble, so they might actually make it through the traps. Oh, one weakness. Which one was it? It's the other one. Okay. Forty-seven. Oh, he's frail. Let's not waste the traps on him then. <laughs> oh, and he actually hits. What is his uh, shooting? An eight. God. We haven't hit him yet. <laughs> Well, we got a little shooting experience, so. What food medicine? Uh, <laughs> what I guess. Crappy first, uh, first one there. Okay, schedule restricted. Next is two more pirates, okay. All right, did you take some, yeah, you took some damage. Some bleed, I should say. Uh, we still don't have anyone that's a good cook. You know what, let's hit up a festival here. Melee, yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, our people are really bad at shooting this time. Really bad. <laughs> Starts once the actual wave is done. Yes. Yeah. So we're going to have to stall out on some waves. So the default medicine. I did, but I forgot to do the quest thing. There we go. I actually don't need that much of it. Join, okay. Starlights. I didn't even check what animal we got. A yak. Well. So who is the uh, the the good memory one? The great memory? Ringar. are running this one uh we got supremacist cannibal tumbler human primacy 
Do we destroy the stray shots? I don't know. <laughs> I was just wondering about that too. Pete's. Connie, can you do somewhere else on the map? It restarts the, the waves, so I'm not going to do that. Any benefit summoning early? Uh, I think you get slightly better rewards, but it the fact that you're going to get further in the waves, which gets super, super uh, hard really quick, isn't worth it as far as I've, uh, I've noticed so far. Yeah, I think tribal is probably going to be the way to go. But I wanted to test this and see uh, see how it feels. So, uh, No, you can't summon a new wave until the other wave is gone. There's no summon early on the next wave. Is it an hour before? I'm not sure how much uh, um, it changes the reward if it's that small. It's a percent chance to get a fourth choice. Slightly impressive. Ambrosia. I should have checked where that was. Four hours. All right. He will join us. Or Not quite die. ready to do the kiting Master. stuff yet. Two hours early, and it tells you the chance as well. 6.7%, 6.6. So if you summon like an hour early, you're going to have like 6% chance. Yeah, Ambrosia will be great when we harvest it on wave 15. Yeah, that's a good point too. Uh, universe, thank you for the gift sub. To silly ideas. Thank you, Universe. And Minoc, thank you for the 11 bits. Thank you, Minoc. Mmm. Rice. We haven't even gotten to rice paste yet, but soon. Soon. Ugly pesters, sorry. Uh, one melee, one ranged, okay. Poor weapon, stone, or leather. Either take the leather and mule off to trade it, uh, or we can just take the stone to help with building here soon. Um, let's just take the stone, I guess. Save some work time as well. Limestone? What do we have on this map? This map is marble and sandstone, so it isn't based on your, your stone. It's unfortunate. All right, let's see if we can get some more people. Swear when you did not even bother cooking. All chocolate berries. Ugh. A breakup already. Fun, go again. Who doesn't want to eat just... Man, could you imagine a, a diet of just chocolate and berries? I mean, a diet just rice doesn't uh, sound too great either, but... Hudson! Nimble, another nimble. Gourmand. Oh, God. A cook! Construction as well. Gotta hate the gourmand, but like I said, we gotta take just about everyone. Two entire waves. Such a rough relationship. Very long. Rakes is in. Rakes the gourmand. Look at that. Nimble. Okay, we'll leave you the knife then.
Always great to have a pawn on the edge. Starving. Yeah. Free cooking skill, though. Yeah. Yeah, it could, uh, at the very least, he can start butchering everything. 18 hours. I would like to get this, this done. So we can start kiting some of these raids. Why so many hoppers? I usually don't do that many, but I wanted one side with meat specifically because it's not going to be cool, so hopefully they'll use the meat first. The raid scale, are they wealth dependent? They are wealth dependent. They scale with uh, just the wave number. Psychic Emanator in your run and don't want to waste it. Can it be reinstalled elsewhere? It can, yes. They can be minified with no mods. So yes, you can move the Psychic Emanator as needed. Uh, I will say also a tip. The Psychic Emanator can be the target of a breakdown where they try to break it just like other furniture. Uh, the Psychic Emanation goes through walls. So when you place it somewhere, it's a good idea to literally encase it in walls. You can do just four walls like this. You have the Psychic Emanator right there. And then when you want to move it or repair it, just rip down a wall and then move it. But that'll protect it from people just breaking it since it's such a rare and valuable item. Uh, so yeah, yeah, you can do those things. Golden Road. Yeah, right. So I can whatever frigging get there. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Artistic meditation. That's. And he's meditating at the wall. Nice. Yeah, no problem, Marla. Early new run. Yeah, we just lost run number two. Mind the carpentry work. <laughs> uh, where's the open paths are going to be? I'm not going to have an open path for a couple raids because I want them to spend time beating up walls and stuff. Although with the wood, they're going to light some on fire, but hopefully we can still use that um, to kite a little bit. Oh, they have a slice cap. Yeah. A wooden slice cap. Mm, that's got to be comfortable. Two hours. I'll probably just take this raid and then we'll start kiting the, the next one. Let's see how it goes. All right, tag so immediately. Uh, we got two ranged. How good is that bolt action? Four. That's one problem with that being there. I think I'm gonna move it. We're not cooking in here. Screw it, I'll put it in here. But I will eventually have an open path, yeah. But for the first few, I'm not going to. Wish we could down them without freaking killing some of them. Steel, stone, cash. We're, just, we're not getting the good ones. Uh, and I, I know they're all going to be poor rewards and like poor and normal, but we want pawns and we want uh, extensions. So I guess we'll take stone again. 
1.2 days, three archers. So this one we might uh, end up hiding a little bit. So we gotta finish up the uh, the outside if we want to be able to do that. And I need more bodies too. We're already up to where we would be just with tribal, but it's on day eight, so I think tribal is probably still the better way to go. Done. Let me start doing those outer walls. You through the storyteller in particular? Yeah, it might be. Do we have anyone that's faster at running? Yeah, that's true. I think I was gonna, I was gonna initially do just a the third wall as a third layer of stone. You start, yep, yeah, run number three. But I mean, either way, I guess I could do it. Could have done it. Okay, so we want to stall this wave for a little bit. Okay, um... So, we'll stall some of the rakes. Grandmother fallen can get up. She's all right though. Can be scary stuff. Glad, uh, glad they're all right, Lish. That's right. I did that in the other run. Yeah. Maybe I'll just go ahead and do that. I waited to do it on their other run, but I can just do it now in this one. Don't want to claim the Ancient Danger, though. Actually, claiming the Ancient Danger might end up being an interesting... Uh... Oh, crap. <laughs> well. I didn't see the second... Or I forgot where the second one was. I saw it earlier, but... Well. I can actually kill us. Let's see how it goes. Well. <laughs> Insect Defenders? Yeah, not from this one, though. And this is the one I accidentally did. Insect Defenders from this one would be good. Oh, man. chunk the whole map edge. I don't even think there's time for that. Then we just get all uh, drops.
Wow, way to go. Way to go. I put some targets, it's gonna take a while. Uh, I guess not. <laughs> not as long as I thought. I think it's healed. Delayed for a short bit, but yeah. We're not gonna be able to put it all out. Unless the rain comes, which it could. We are buying time. Rain is here. Nice. Where's the other one at? He's way over there, okay. They gave up and they're leaving. Okay, and that's as long as we can delay that one, so. Literally until they gave up. So next goal is going to be to get um, the third layer of stone to get a burn box up. Yeah, we can replace those straight away with stone too, yeah. What kind of stone do we have? We got some limestone. Medicine, pawn joins, nice. They're a freeholder. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Fast learner. All right. Shoes. Uh, that's all right. <laughs> all right. All right, all right, all right. It's been all right. All right, uh, let's see here. Probably turn them into a shooting specialist. Grenadier, so this is a boss wave. It's most likely bullet sponge. You're gonna have double health, grenadier. Most likely it's going to be a breach with a grenadier, but we'll see. Not always. <sighs> Make some arts, pretty good place, or bait some raiders. A long tunnel with fences inside, so the ghosts were slow. Walk inside for a whole day. They can actually delay the next wave a lot. Yeah, yeah. Can't do it every wave, but we can do it to some. 
Going into the mountain when playing mountain ideology after some research or after building a base of defense. I usually make a small base at the um, the area that I'm going to go into the mountain on. And basically I'm good with going to the mountain as soon as I feel like I can survive insects and that's it. If I can survive insects and feed myself from within the mountain, whatever stage of the game it is I'm at at that point, uh, that's kind of the baseline for me. But yeah, if you if you're at the point where you can survive infestations and moving the mountain is is, is good. All right, so we need to give them. I guess we'll just give them an auto pistol right now. More limestone. Uh, let's do an opening down here. I think that's fine. Then another one there. space traders all right do we have anyone that's half decent social there we go many guys turn the sun off <laughs> yeah we're toddlers so we can't even get that in fact problem causers can't even spawn until day 20 so it's actually hard to survive even to day 20 in this so and then we have to get lucky and yeah, hopefully these traders are still here they might be leaving right as the next raid gets here but we'll see let's go an ice cut welcome in rebuilding weed eaters heat wave all right Crash landed. Almost forgot. Mafia boss was a high-ranking member of an herb world crime syndicate. She bribed officials, maintained the loyalty of her subordinates, and extracted overdue payment by any means necessary. Uh, the memes are incorrect. I need to update them. Here they are, though. Supremacy, cannibal, tunneler, human primacy for now. Uh, we might as well just go ahead and do these. Mining camp. Uh, this is a modest storyteller, Winston Waves. Do exclamation WW or exclamation Winston if you want his information. Fast learner. Careful shooter I don't like. Undergrounder is kind of whatever on this, but fast learner, very good construction. We're really going through the queue here. Okay, who's next? Sinful Mage. by sitting somewhere so cold attacking waves lose due to extreme cold you'll just get more mechs that way kind of the same way that you um if you do like an ice sheet run a lot of your uh raids will end up being mechs because of unsafe temperatures or they'll um the raiders will have more parkas and stuff like that so uh the defenders are leaving it 
Yeah, I was worried about that. A gift where they leave 130 silver. Good luck. Here's some silver. Heat stroke. Points, get in the queue once again. Yep. Yep. You can do it. Buy as many tickets as you as you have channel points for. Alright. Actually might let these ones come in. It's a breach, yep. Alright, that's what I thought. A breach. And they have double health. Double health breach. Uh, that one is running ahead of the others. Let's go. Marksman command. So we might actually have a shot in hitting this stupid guy. Set no pause. What is this? Number three. Number three. And the storyteller is always going to eventually kill us, but we're going to see how long we can survive. Kind of weapons they have? They have a bolt action. Oh, nice hit. Very nice. Get in. Waste your time. Guy absorbed some bullets. Yeah, he did. But I mean, they're they're double health bullet sponge. So yeah, the no kill box strategy might be uh, the best way to do this, at least for a while. But yeah, this wave is a boss wave, so they have uh, all the enemies have double the health. Anyone that's just gonna be mainly happy all the time. Bloodlust is easy to keep happy. Social of one. Oh well. Arc shift are gonna be our moral guide. Congratulations. Or well, condolences, I'm not sure. Travelers will blade their enemies uh, to these guys. Honestly hungry. <laughs> the big thing, having multiple defenses and choosing. Yeah, like we were talking about last night, yeah. Uh, in Discord. Raiders have mental breaks, they can, yeah. However, they have uh, extremely low expectations, so a lot of times it's hard for them to have mental breaks because they have plus 30 while they're there. Uh Kat, thank you for the Twitch Prime. They're using that here. Casting is a tier one sub. Very much appreciated. What's that noise from outside the wall? Why does that piece of wood keep randomly getting splintered? I guess I'll go sand it down again. All right, they've given up. Come 
Can we injure them a little bit? No. Nice. Minor passion for my work. Yeah, <laughs> he's shooting the wall. We got to frag it a bit. Yeah, not really what we we need, but uh, I turned it off. You can't check anymore because it was it was causing too many um, hits to the API and it was getting locked out of it, so I couldn't choose names. So, plastic fuel or psychic soothe? Let's just take the soothe. How to make the altar work in the barracks? Uh, there's a clip, but I haven't explained it in this playthrough, so I'll do that. Explanation altar will explain. Um, but for anyone that doesn't know, you can cheese it by making an altar closet. So if you look on the altar information, uh, it'll tell you that you have to have it all floored, the room has to be impressive, no beds, no work facilities, etc. However, it takes consideration all the altars that you have. So what you can do is you can throw an altar in a closet with a uh, floor under there. So a little room right here. This altar has a floor underneath so it satisfies all of the needs. So then we can put this one in here and it doesn't matter. There, there's the clip as well. Yeah. Twitch ads. Little well, action rifle and just see bullet holes. Keep getting repaired from the inside. <laughs> yeah, I have one more, yeah. Two archers, two hunters. We definitely want to uh, extend that as long as possible. At least we have a good one in a closet. <laughs> I guess I might as well do it in case we get another uh, join. Could go ahead and make a leader, but I'm kind of waiting on another person with good mood. Uh, something to increase their mood permanently, I should say. Another fun one, but not a join. Next chance it joins in 12 days. So, what other kind of blocks do we have left? We have 150 slates. Should also go ahead and get this down. Stone cutter. I should put it. Uh, no, it's, it's okay. It's gonna slow it a little bit, but I'm alright with it. Still a third run, yep. We need to extend this one as well. Am I getting more ad revenue? I am, but it's so low. I would rather just no one sees ads. It's so low, you know, like, but no, I've, I've been getting a little bit more per month. Like last month I got something like, I don't remember, 24 extra dollars or something. Yeah. Cents on the dollar, pretty much. Single person, leader or moral guide, keep them always happy. Yeah, yeah. I think it was a very good, very good one for that. Oh, I was thinking about that earlier. Thanks. Uh, one, a couple of ones in the window are not looking good. I keep forgetting they're there because I don't see them. Yeah, this, the ones on that end, those two, yep. Thanks, my wife. She's watering my plants. She used to get up, fill up a water bottle. It's so annoying. Yeah, it is annoying. Like I was telling, uh, talking about earlier, Hello Dusk, if it was like YouTube where the ads are like five seconds or skippable, not a big deal. But it's always like two or three minutes of ads. Usually when I'm on a stream and Twitch does mid-roll ads, it usually is like one of nine. And they're not short. Yeah, my wife is saying the same thing. As under stream. Yeah. Yeah, it's re that's really frustrating. I got noodled. Okay, so this one we're going to extend. We're going to be cutting blocks during this to try to get um, as many cut blocks as possible. So between wave six and seven, we can reinforce the rest of this with stone. 
Yes, I agree. Uh, I mean, I don't use them. You shouldn't either. But yes. Let's go in puns. Could stand reload TV ads. I get a ton of ads on Twitch as well. Yep. Yeah. And it's just going to get worse. Yep. Yeah. Funny fungus tiles are needed for colonists. I think it's... I actually don't remember. I think it's 20, though. I think it's actually 20. Oh, you mean per colonist. Per colonist. Um, no, no, no. I'm, I'm thinking right. I think it's 20. I don't remember, though. We went through it back when I was doing the mountain bases, and I don't remember what the results were. It's been so long. But, uh, Mel, think of the 100 bits. There's a few more sins. That 100 bits is way more than I get from, like, probably, like, a day of ads, yeah? So I'd like to kill, like, maybe one or two of these when they're split up. Yeah, so rice, he will join it's us or die. 20 normal Master. soil of rice, 20 plots to feed one person forever on simple meals, 15 of rich plots and seven hydroponic but that's if it gets harvested and uh, everything right away harvested replanted right away turn into simple meals only doi they leave some to magnum now magnum you shouldn't get ads anymore thank you doi <laughs> looks like it's 20 you will join us or die master doi I give something to Mel. No more ads for Mel for a month either. Thank you, Doi. I appreciate it. So I'd like to pick one of these off. Let's grab a hamster here. Where's the dragon game? Only on Wednesdays. Story day is Wednesday. Rake's axe actually got a pretty bad hit there. Almost destroyed his leg. Dragon's Dogma every Wednesday. Story day is Wednesday. I've actually never had anyone come in during a RimWorld stream and ask for the story day. That's pretty interesting. It's, all, it's usually the other way around every time. <laughs> That's why I did it. Gotcha. I wasn't sure if you, uh, if you knew or not. It's handy to desync the audio as well. So the stream resumes, audio is off. You have to wait to reset the stream. Or also, prompt more ads. Yeah, that really sucks. Man, yeah, you refresh and then you get the, the pre-roll ads. I didn't even think about that. A generous bestow. You've been watching Darkest Dungeon on YouTube. Gotcha. Thank you for watching over there. Lish, thank you for the 100 bits. How'd you ever play anything other than a single game? <laughs> oh, I'm so used to DD being in Dark's Dungeon because that was the main game that I played before RimWorlds uh, on the channel. Uh, yes, Dragon's Dogma. Thank you for watching over there. That's awesome. So yeah, it'll be live every Wednesday and then it'll go up on YouTube every Thursday. So if you want to watch the VOD, Check YouTube on Thursdays. If you want to watch it live, it's uh, Twitch Wednesday. Just want to say Dark's Dungeon? Go to Juliet. Twitch account around. So your name is different. Oh, what was your name before that? As we're saw to you during a random moment in the stream, vlogging exciting moments. Yeah, I'm the same way, yeah. And I remember, so about a year ago, Cubbins, I do remember you. Cubbin, I do remember that name. Um, I remember when Twitch was like, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna help with this and we're gonna make it so that when an ad plays, you'll still be able to see the stream. It'll be picture within a picture. And we were all like, that is awesome. 
Holy crap, thank you. And then it comes out, and what it is, is you get like a little like two and a half by one and a half inch window of the stream above chat. Like this tiny thing that you can't, you could never be able to tell what the crap is going on in it, right? It's like, all right, well, it might as well not be there. Yeah, and it mutes it too, so it's like so much for the picture in picture. You don't have U lock origin, and it's and it's great. <laughs> Oh, the Igor runs? Yeah, those were really crazy. Is this a notch up from Igor? I would say so, yeah. Funnel bin from the south. Yeah, that was an excellent map, too. Nearly a penny. That's right. Question is pause. Right, yeah. Yeah, it makes more sense on a VOD than it does on a live stream. Yeah. or die, master. Uh, Black, they were so awesome. Thank you, Black. Who'd you get? I see Kyle for five months. Thank you, Black. What's the right button? Oh. I hear a centipede, no! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, I don't know, caravan arrival. Are they the ones that stay in there? Okay, they're the guarding ones. All right. <laughs> well, sudden centipede noises. <laughs> like, oh man. Um, all right. That's something you don't want to hear on day 13. <laughs> We're not even in, past the first season. Where's this caravan? Hey guys, you want to fight some centipedes? I don't really care if you want to or not. You're about to. Uh, six tribals on the next run or next wave. It's not a flame speed. What else do we have in there? It's like an animal pulser. World challenge, right? Uh, yeah, it's called Winston Waves. Actually, Shin WW will explain it, but it is he is super freaking hard. Winston Waves can have up to 25,000 raid points. That's two and a half times a normal 500% run, and he attacks every day. <laughs> it's been, uh, you get five days to prepare, and then he attacks every day. God, I hope they leave that way. First boss one, this one, it wasn't bad, no. First boss wave was not bad this time, at least. Who's our doctors during the, are on this one? Arc? Okay. Uh, I don't know that they're gonna leave that way. We can try to force them to. Do we have, we have some wood in here, okay. I 
don't know if they're going to be in range of them still, but we'll try. Uh, conditions to the challenge, it's just survive as long as we can. I don't think there's really a win. I would like to try to get to um, 100 ways. I don't know if it's possible. If they leave that way, I think they'll go out that way. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to block that one too. But we learn a little bit more each run and some of it's gonna be RNG because of the rewards. So um, the very first run, we got some really good rewards. Second run, I didn't get very good rewards at all. Could afford roses, put blood on the daylilies, that's right. I could, I could just leave them up. The next raid will actually fight the moon. As long as we don't go down there. I mean, if the centipede gets pulled to our base, we just, we're, we're dead. Yeah, all right, we'll lead these by it. There for 2,000 bits. Thank you, Observer. That was a lot of bits. These bits are for having the guts to try. I would actually like to launch a ship with this. I don't know that it's possible. Like, I would like to, but I, I don't know it's possible. We might even get to a point where we're like, all right, let's try super cheese. Let's try some super cheese. We might get to that point. We're not there yet, though. Uh, raids. The raids are wealth dependent based on the wave number. Uh, and normal events can happen outside of that that aren't raids. And those ones are just like, basically like Cassandra. They, they fire on wealth. We need to send someone out to get an EMP and a Molotov. Okay, what do we got here? We got some marble, sandstone. I'm gonna post in your YouTube comments saying you're a corner puncher. <laughs> well, that's not quite what I meant by cheese, but. it up for compound for what you see and use in the past yeah it's because of the nature of the storyteller yeah rakes for god's sake just don't go out this way please oh did i block him completely now i did oh it, the, it's not out anymore we can get him through there all right there we go now everyone just stay inside until the mechs are done. Oh, mage, sorry. Until the traders leave, I should say. Yes, there, there we go. Good job, Nuavo. hard time regardless i mean there might be a time when we get to the point where it's like all right let's try it with all exploits and cheeses but uh i'm not there yet we're only on try number three
Shotgun. Couldn't one of you guys with the SMGs or assault rifles have died instead? Well, they left the centipede up, but uh, they didn't take out the scyther and both scythers. And a pikeman that was in here. All right. Eight hours. It's going cipher. No worries. <laughs> Rex is very upset. Microelectronics is really interesting. I'm, I think I'm going to try to get to turrets though. Going Zara, welcome in. I thought I undrafted him. I forgot to undraft him. I undrafted the other one. I'm like. Rex is really upset. I wonder why. Oh, it's because I'm starving him to death. 500 again? That's awesome. They will let me know. He's probably on guard duty in case that centipede decides to come to the base. Uh, Alright, so we are out of that stone. What do we have next? Uh, we got some slate. And buffalo. No one can go outside, right? Nope, okay. Muffalo! Hey, these guys are here to protect us. <laughs> what? <sighs> How many are there? Five. They're actually melee locking it, though. Next raid's coming. That's actually kind of good timing. Buffalo gonna kill that centipede? They got pretty close. <laughs> if it wasn't for the uh, the pikeman back there taking shots, I think uh, they had it. All right, next raid is here already. Oh, I didn't even check to see what it said about them. Welcome back. Attacking immediately. Your steadfast all right. loyalty is greatly appreciated. Tri Paladin, forty-four months. That's a long time, Tri Paladin. Thank you, Tri Paladin. Much appreciated. 1500 year old war machine taking down my five woolly boys. So we have uh, five follower emotes here that you can use from just being a follower. You don't have to subscribe. One of them is a muffalo. Um, I, I really like that one. Oh, God. The ancients are awake. I'm not sure if I'm happy about this or not. I will be if we can get down there and strip him. Are we talking about what just happened? Or are you just like copy and pasting your search results? I'm not sure what's going on now, Doi. <laughs> if you would insist. Oh, we got a non bio coated chain shotgun. Flow shield as well. Good armor. I think the centipede's gonna win still, though. Wow. Question is, is it to be damaged enough to be pulled to the base? These guys are really in it. They don't know how to run away at all. Is his name Bye Bye? His name is Bye Bye. He's about to go Bye Bye. Let's run number three. Bye Bye and Armadillo. You got this, Bye Bye. You just need to hit him about 50 more times without getting hit yourself. Oh. This chunk will protect me. I am one with the chunk and one with the tree. You will be fertilizer soon. Bye bye. Bye bye bye. Poor weapons, medicine, or wood. Oh man, oh man. We already have a lot of medicine. Poor weapons don't really do us very good, very much good. So we're getting just really bad rewards. 
Next is six Outlanders. Uh, it's probably a breach because there's a Grenadier. Welcome back. Your steadfast loyalty These guys are really out here just walking through fire. Just going to put it all out. Whatever. Work on the walls. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, Berries. Welcome back. Two months. Oh, anniversary already. Countless hours. There's so many. Thank you for watching. All right, so we got some more, uh, what was it? It was slates. I gotta keep an eye down here too. If anyone goes down there, they're s just screwed. Structure. Slate wall. Okay. How long? I don't know, what do you think? I'm supposed to get off at five, but it's five now. So are you ready? Do you need me to get off of here or? Able to win against Mr. Waves, the storyteller? Would it be first? I don't I don't know. I talked about it at the beginning of the stream that I'm not I'm not competing with anyone other than myself. I play so much differently as well. Um someone told me that they saw someone playing with mods on 500 percent make it to wave like 48. Um they're playing with pause and with mods. Not saying that's that means that if we make it there, we are a better player or something. But yeah, I'm just competing with myself. I don't know if anyone else has done the 5% no pause and what uh, what wave they made it to and if anyone launched a ship against this storyteller or not, but yeah, I don't know. Hungry, but can I have a snack? Um, I'll just go a little bit later, yeah. Like yesterday, maybe. 30 minutes to an hour. I gotta see how this uh, mech plays out. Highest wave we made it to so far. Uh, t we made it to 19 on our first attempt and 24 on the second attempt. Trying out some new stuff in this one. I'm trying, I didn't start as tribal. I think tribal's probably best. What wave is this? It is wave eight. Ways to go, yep, yep. Hey, what you shot me in the back? Aren't you guys gonna take out that centipede? Because you're they're melee locking it, so they might actually do it. It's down. <laughs> I sure wish they had taken out the pikeman too. <laughs> I can't believe these just random Passerbys did that. Hmm. I'm tempted to go down there and try to lure it out, but I've done that before and had someone just one shot while doing it. Okay. That'll be a much later thing. We'll go ahead and mark it. They're never going to believe this back. Oh, they're taking it out. Drop your revolver. Grab that chain shotgun. Uh, Did you say you saw a low shield on one of the people that popped out? Yeah, there it is. Look at that. Look at that. Low shields. Uh, that one is bio coded. We want to take that in too, though. Let's just go ahead and allow everything. And what else do we want to grab? Um, we'll eventually need those, so let's go ahead and unrestrict. We'll see how people grab them. Never do hauling. Well, look at you. Go juice. We're going to take that home as well. Uh, haul the pulser. 
We even go ahead and haul that. Alright. We also want to see what's in the crates here. Um, all right, Ark, you can open it. Come on, something great. Something amazing. Just take a little dose of the juice. Surely it's fine. Just one sip. I think I have one bloodlust pawn, so that's what I was thinking too. We can come in and strip them as well. Circadian. Okay. There's the bloodlust one. It was Ark all along. Hmm. That's actually poor quality. I bet this is better. Um, we really need to go trade for an EMP. Between the next two ways, we really need, gotta try to get one. How to allow everything so fast? You go to Architect, you go to Orders, and you right-click on Allow, and you click Unforbid All Items. Uh, you do not need a mod for that anymore. They they changed that probably a year or two ago. Probably like two years ago. How's Winston Ways going? It's been really crazy. Yeah? A lot of fun. Uh, learning something new against him every run. We're on run three. Five hours, okay. Three hours. Let's get in, in case it's a drop. If the game does not tell you, yeah, there's things that you can right click on and the game does not tell you as far as I'm aware that you can do it so you can do it on like plans and stuff as well to cancel all designation uh, so it's worth right clicking on some things with around without mods to see if there's any extra functionality immediately not a breach not a breach well it's not always true with this storyteller so and one of them does have uh grenades so i guess technically they could breach regardless let's see where the grenade one goes do you have marksman up we really need to stall in the next wave be good to stall on this one if we can get the Grenadier down. Right now he's running with the biggest group. Four of them. Go away, wobbler. Auto doors. Try and crash land instead of tribal on this one. First run, try and uh, crash landed for the storytelling.
Every ninja just taking him out on his own. No problem. Timer starts when the raid ends. Yep. Also, the box base, no kill box. I just did a full 5% no pause run with no kill box at all. And during that run, I found out that no kill box is extremely strong in the early to mid game. And so now I am uh, trying that against Winston Waves at the moment. Okay, so we need to get the out the outer wall done, and then we are going to convert over here to a kill box. Um, probably. A burn box, at the very least. We always rebuild the burn box. I was decimating raids without a kill box. It, uh, yeah, it was really crazy. What's the reason it's better? Because uh, you can see a highlight of that run if you want to really see how strong it was, if you go to Exclamation Highlight. But basically... If you have no entrance to your base, because of how pathing works, raids split up like this. So in the early to mid game, we don't have enough firepower to just shoot down range in a kill box and kill things as they come in. Having the raiders split up and be like one or two together where you can pop out like this, I can just pop out and kill that one guy. So there's the, yeah, there's one of them. See how they're all split up? like. So I can just bring Derpy Ninja out here behind him, run out with these guys. We kill that guy, we pop back in. The other ones are gonna be like, hey, what's crap? And they're gonna come around. It's actually stronger than a kill box in early to mid game. And with a smaller pawn count as well. If I kill him, they're going to break and run. So I'm going to let him just do that. We're going to buy some time here. Get some more research in. And then I'm going to start planning some stuff out. So uh, first thing is we got to finish off the, the wall. And then I'll probably extend this. I might even do some bedrooms at some point. Uh, I haven't updated it, but no. It's just Supremacy, Cannibal, Tunneler, and Human Primacy for this attempt. Shotgun tunnel setup. I have a guide plan to show some shotgun tunnels. But I don't know if I have a clip already saved or not. Holy strike. You can do exclamation, uh, is it bugs? I think in that one, I go over some of the basics to shotgun tunnels, but it's not super great. It's just a short clip. So I'm pretentious. Welcome in. That's as close as I have right now. They're gonna relieve soon, okay. So I need to stay on 1x because it does not slow down. We got to reinforce that too. It doesn't slow down. Um, or I mean, it, it stays at whatever speed you have it set on when the rewards pop up. What do you have? Flag jacket. It's a poor one. I kind of want someone to break that up there. I'm tempted to send someone. If it's insects, it might be good for us in the long run. Um, Maybe I should just go to auto doors. Work to make a single wooden wall that sports roof so that they break it. And it collapses on them. I did that in the no-kill box run. I put roof traps all around the base. I'll probably get to that in this also, yeah. 
How many ways is the goal? Right now, the goal is just beat our previous best. So right now, we're trying to get to more than 24. Okay, they've given up. Just trying to get past 24 now. New insulin pump. It's a closed loop. Talk to each other. Isn't that so crazy? It's almost like a scary thing. Like, it's an awesome thing, Neff, but... For me, there would be some part of me that's like, wait, what if they, what if there's a bug or it screws up or if there's a malfunction or it pumps out? And I know there's safeguards for all that kind of stuff, but still. Or auto doors, a lot of wealth. They're not really a lot of wealth, but you have to have the electricity to make them function correctly. And you have to have enough um, material to repair them fairly often, which means a lot of, um, a lot of components as well. Oh, we have ship chunks right there. Speaking of components, I'd really like to extend the base a little bit, but I'm hoping we get a big joint event out of this. It's going corpse. Welcome back. Now Ness paranoid. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Orbital bombardment targeter, medicine drop, steel drop. Next one is wave nine. We're up to eight pirates. We have an orbital targeting beacon. That can be good, or it can be very dangerous. I don't know who to equip it on. It's going Tyranitar, welcome back. Orbital Marmot Targeter? It's gotta be pretty accurate. That's right, we can bullseye Marmots from orbit. So Arc Shift is wearing it, okay. Uh, human skin out. Full flaps. Very elegant. It's a one-shot item. Yep. In more ways than one, it's a one-shot item. <laughs> Womp rats in the quarry. Why not apply the tech print? Because I'm going to go give it away for rep or um, for uh, for gold or for silver. We actually really need an EMP grenade or we're just going to like die. That's what, how our first run ended. We got hit by an all centipede wave before we had uh, EMP. Human skin animal flap really is. Yeah. It's uh, your eyelids, obviously. What else would it be? What's weird about eyelids? Pass max wave, I don't know what you mean. That's a trap. Don't answer that. I think we might end up switching over from paste now that we have uh, Rakes as the cook. So, and we have electricity. So let's go ahead and do that. We can make fine meals. Welcome back. Your steadfast uh, loyalty is greatly appreciated. For the three months, streaming right as you get back into RimWorld. Learn the game from me. Go look at the run. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for the reason. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do this. Where do I want it exactly? I guess it doesn't really matter where I put it for now. I can always move it. Um, I will go ahead and set it over on this side, though, at least. What was the last, last max wave? Oh, oh, that's what you meant. Uh, 24, 24. Bad, I misunderstood what you uh, meant the first time. But yeah, 24. Okay, how are we doing on the outside? So we need the bottom done.
It's our next festival. Seven days, okay. Floor of the Barracks next? Yes. At some point, I would like to do that. We, we uh, spend less time replanting since wealth doesn't matter. I'm trying to get two uh, turrets at the moment. I really need a mule character, too. Probably should have raced this one out. How's it going? I feel behind, but I feel I always feel behind in these unless we get a reward that's extra colonists or extra time. But I don't get that. Um pretty much always feeling behind. Right. Uh we'll just go with simple wheels. Start with until we have X. We're gonna do 20. Pause until we're at 12. Then I'm going to copy and paste this. And then in this one, I'm going to do uh, just meat and animal products first because they go bad first. So that's done. And then this one, everything. All right. I need to start destroying that crap too. Uh, let's see. Seems right. Would rushing microelectronics be a good idea? I don't know. Yeah. That way we could just make it instead. In this run, we might could actually do that. Tribal, there's no friggin' way to get there in time, but. <laughs> and start caring about pets. The world is ending. Okay, we need to improve the quality of the barracks. So we can get the mood up. How do you think this would go on an Igor map? I think it'd be easier on a map like the Igor map in a lot of ways, but I don't want to reuse it. I'm probably going to do an attempt to, in a mountain map in general, which will make things easier, but not yet. We're only on run three, so. Turn off clean. Yeah. Rush SMG and flak go to microelectronics first yeah I don't I don't know it, it's so dependent on what you get from this like one run we got two legendary Zeus hammers another run we or uh, on that same run earlier on we had like chain shotguns on everyone early so rushing to actually make weapons uh, didn't make sense but you never know what you're gonna get in that same one in the first uh, attempt we actually had a good reward roll like four additional pawns which is incredible so there's absolutely going to be a lot of rng to it but uh yeah it i mean the, the problem with going out like we were doing and trying to get an ep from trade we found out last time is sometimes you just don't find one sometimes just no one has a friggin emp for sell and then centipedes come and you are dead what does Marksman Command and Combat Command do? I think... I don't have a leader, so I can't show that one. But Marksman Command... Um, uh, it, from what I understand, it basically... Anyone in the circle where the orange circle is, it, in, it like literally increases their shooting skill while they're in the circle, and whatever that entails that going up in the skill would do. So effectively, it's going to increase their accuracy and, and therefore damage. Um, the leader one, I'm not sure what all, I don't remember, actually, oddly. It's like a new game, yeah. <laughs> oh, with the right-clicking? Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of options there, yeah. Yeah, no problem. Hospitality for an ally. High Stellark. Suffering from Abasia. You don't say. Asia, huh? Terrible, terrible. Terrible out of Asia. Could imagine. Uh, that is not the seed. This is just some random map. The world seed is WW for this one.
Oh, it must suck to have aphasia. What does min max mean in basic terms? It means trying to squeeze every little bit out of everything you can. So if something is more efficient, even if it's just barely so, um, it means doing that. So basically, basically um, maximizing everything you do Maximize the potential of everything you do. Okay, here we go. We're hoping they just steal Justina and head on out. Maximum output, minimum input. Yeah. That's, and that's what it literally means. Yeah, just the words itself. But, like, in practice, it's stuff like... In a normal game where you see me like not build corners because there's literally no reason for me to build corners in a normal game and it adds so little wealth that it really doesn't matter and it takes so little work time that it really doesn't matter but that extra little bit uh doing that in a lot of places can actually add up and then it can matter so little things like that so we have eight raiders Okay. Some point based systems. I feel like building's better without corners. Alright, we're gonna pop out and kill this guy over here. What does he have? Shotgun, okay. We gotta get that stone done at the south between this and the next wave. Looks like no kill box run yet. Yeah, using some similar strategies for sure. I mean, we're not getting any extra done right now, so I should probably just kill. Because we weren't switched over to all the stone yet. Next wave is a boss wave. And then it's after 10s where it really starts picking up. Alright. They're stealing the evasion person and leaving. That's what we wanted to happen. Alright. Okay, we really want an extension reward. They seem so rare. Come on why every character in D&D has three charisma. <laughs> we really want wave extension. If not that, then more colonists. Oh no! The Empire Pond's getting kidnapped! Why, God, why? Why? 
excellent leather re research boost. Instantly research five random research projects. A thousand wood, a thousand steel, 60 components, and 20 advanced components, and 300 plasteel. Man, oh man. I'm really tempted to do the research boost and see if we can get turrets and mortars just off that, but it's really hard to pass that up. That's so much. Gears turning. The leather, the leather. <laughs> oh, it's a trap. We don't have, I don't know. That means we could even use some steel traps and stuff. I think I'm gonna take the resource drop for this one. All right. Well, there's a safe choice. We have pretty fast research on this playthrough. Holy crap. Oh my God. It's fine. Alright, uh, we're researching gun turrets on our own. Set the reward menu, it doesn't take the raid timer. Yeah, I, I've noticed that too, I'm trying not to do that. Yeah, I'll bring it in. Uh, boss wave, it's gonna be a breacher, it looks like, and they're gonna have double health. God, we need more blocks. Research can never keep up with the wave difficulty. Yeah, if we got those research hits on the tribal. I know, 300 plasteel. We need more blocks. I could just use the plasteel. I mean, we might as well. I was thinking about plasteel turrets, but we won't be able to remake the plasteel. But we might as well use it. It goes up quicker, too. Some of it's going to get destroyed here soon. Yeah, we might as well do it. We have to survive long enough to even get to the point of having those turrets up, right? So. What's in outside? I should get it when they were up, but it's fine either way. Yeah, there are blocks in here. We could rip up the flooring for more marble as well. I was looking at that earlier. Thing is, we have so little time to do any of it. So little time. All right. Fourteen hours. Hopefully, we get the stone time. Almost every previously known tactic. Yeah, it's really crazy. Wall was a plasty. Usually, don't see that until like super late game. <laughs> but here we are. Screw the floor thing for right now. Double health. We do have the animal pulser. This might be a good one to use it on. It's going to be during the daytime. What do we have going on here? I kind of want to save it for when we have actual, uh, like, rockets, but... being raided by people rockets, I should say. My friend Justina is lost. Stop making friends of the Empire.
five hours. I mean, we're not gonna be completely done for sure. All right, get inside. Just inside the walls so we see what's going on here. Uh, if they get, hmm, if they break that open, that would be ideal. But we'll have to get pretty lucky with them target. I think it might end up being a breach. All right, turrets are done, and yeah, let's grab our own uh, microelectronics, make our own EMP grenades. We don't have to go off for it. And then also, if we ever get allies, we can call them in. Okay, here they are. They're gonna use sappers. Sappers. Uh, only one actually would have preferred breacher in an odd way. These ones are not going to split up quite as nicely. Up, I misclicked there. I think that's it. Like, this is our uh, fastest loss by quite a bit. GG. That's the fastest one. So I think tribal is going to be the best start. Man, I can't believe I clicked it like that. I was trying to like preempt the stupid low shield, but misclicked. So <laughs> Digi was gonna, was gonna do it, but uh, yeah, quickest one. So the record twenty four still stands for right now. Five dollars. We're nice. It's going tofu. Chris, welcome in. Um. Uh, Indivi I want to say divided so badly. Uh, individed. Thank you for the 500 bits. <laughs> Much appreciated. No pause. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I'm so used to no pause, but yeah. That definitely doesn't help with things, right? But. Waste of weight is crazy. Crazy, crazy. Didn't get very good rewards this time. Worse than the last two, but. I think the no kill box like we did, uh, the 5% no pause, no kill box run that we did, I think we're gonna have to do that same kind of strategy to open up. No pause ideology run for which ending? Oh, I've, I've done, I've been playing no pause for like three years. I've done all the endings is no pause 500%. I, all, I've done the Arco Nexus. I've done all the other endings uh, since ideology has been out. They're up on YouTube if you wanna check them out. Here's the YouTube link. Quite a few of them are on there. Lots of different ideologies and stuff. See what the reward is. Yeah, I'm actually kind of curious. It is a. It was a boss wave. Man. Bullet sponge, no joke. Yeah, bad rewards again. Bad rewards again. All right, run number three is at an end. Man, that one went uh, way faster than the, the other one. So the no kill box thing that we did, um, I think we need to do that as well. I think tribal is the right start for this though. We just need more hands on deck. So if we have five people in the beginning that can build, if we roll them all as builders, 
We can get that outer wall way sooner, even out of stone. If we can get an initial wall and kites until we get the double stone out there, we should be good for the first like 10 waves. And then hopefully we can get ahead. So um, if we ever get the research reward, which we have not gotten, we have not gotten it on tribal. If we get the research reward, we'd be in good shape, but we're just not getting it. What determines whether you get a good reward or a poor reward? Well, even in the same tier, right? So like there's different poor rewards. There's a poor reward where you get a new colonist, but then there's poor reward where you get like 200 wood. Obviously the colonist is going to help us way more than 200 wood. So even within that tier, it's just random. So sometimes you get, uh, you get good stuff and sometimes not. The actual tier reward though is determined by the wave number and how early uh, you called it in. So. Get to an RTO pawn again. That'll be the run. <laughs> to make an incredibly long delay tunnel. Yeah, if we could get it up in time, we could. I kind of was trying not to do that, but uh, and breachers and sappers are going to ignore it anyway. I could cheese breachers and sappers, but I'm I'm not going to do that yet either. That was only run three, so I'm not I'm not relegating to doing the exploity cheese stuff uh, for this run yet. Maybe when we get to like run ten. <laughs> Yeah, in our very first run, we actually had this, uh, the Stellark. The Stellark was... Okay, so here's the difference. In our first run, one of the early rewards we got was like four random joined pawns. And one of them was literally the Stellark. She came with Neuroquake. She joined our colony. It's crazy. How do you cheese Breachers and Sappers? Uh, here's the link to that. That's a long explanation. There. And yeah, they went running wild. It was pretty funny. Oh, I need to stop the recording. One second. Let me punch my microphone first. That was fun, though. I think I am. Uh, I think we definitely learned some more in that one. Yeah, the tribal ones were way better, though. All right. Uh, this will continue, though. Don't worry. We are going to keep going. So this is not the last run. We're learning new stuff every time. They've been a lot of fun. And man, they are so action packed. It's crazy. Um, the next run, I'm not sure if I'm going to go into mountain yet or not, but we will. We will do 